fought long and hard in the war against our hated enemies, the Federation. Precious Triceraton blood has been spilt. Our glorious homeworld damaged in battle. But through our bravery and strength of arms, we forced the mighty Federation into retreat. And very soon, we shall strike at them in force and bathe ourselves in the sweet nectar of victory. Victory! 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 Our path to triumph is clear. We must recapture this fugitoid who holds in its circuitry the mind of Professor Honeycutt. His teleportal device shall provide us with the means to crush the Federation and rule the universe once and for all. The Fugitoid and his allies used the teleportal to escape us last time. But we have tracked the teleportal's transionic particle trail to the farthest corner of the T-17 galaxy, to an insignificant, watery, green-blue planet. Even if we must tear that pitiful world apart piece by piece, the Fugitoid will be ours. Begin the countdown! To victory! 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 No! I'm hit! First rule of playing Space Destructor, Don Boy. Never go up against me, for I am the Space Inhitter! Resistance is futile! No! Not another blackout! My high score! Relax, Spaceinator. It's not the end of the world. to anything but our spacecraft. The Fugitoid cannot escape. Begin the invasion. To victory! Um, sir? We have a problem. Uh, we have multiple bogeys. Spacecraft, sir. We're under attack from... Uh, outer space? Aliens? You gotta be kidding me! Full alert! We're going to DEFCON 4! Go, 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 go! We have taken heavy losses, but we have combat-ready troops and our boys at Langton are gonna send up everything we- Sir, Langton, it's been destroyed! Europe, Far East, Africa, nearly every military base worldwide! Prime Leader, the resistance these worms offered was fierce but ineffective. Fine. And where is the Fugitoid, Commander Mozar? <laughs> We haven't found him yet, sir, but we will. The hunt has begun. <laughs> that one, setting to stun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
emergency broadcast system. We interrupt this program to bring you critical information. Today, the unthinkable happened. Earth no longer need question if there is life on other planets. It is here, and we are in the full grip of an alien invasion. Is there any way for us to defend against this assault from the stars? Or is this truly the end of the human race? Seen moments ago in Times Square. <laughs> Reports are coming in from all over the world. We are being invaded by some extraterrestrial force. My sons, it is very important for you all to stay in the lair until. I hate those guys. We gotta do something. What can we do against an entire invasion? It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't get it. With all the planets in the galaxies, why here? Why Earth? Maybe that hornhead Sam Ramon is still mad at us for stealing his personal space cruiser. <laughs> it was a pretty sweet ride. I don't think this is about us. We're not important enough for them to travel halfway across the universe. Hey, speak for yourself! I'm considered a pretty bad hombre pretty much anywhere in the galaxy. Remember, I am the Battle Nexus champion. Ow! Team 3, search the Northern Quadrant. Team 2, you're with me. I'm picking up a heavy concentration of transionic particles coming from inside that structure. We'll check it out. You keep searching. to save the world, but we sure as shell can save that old lady. Come on! civilians don't look at me ask the shell answer man here well first off it looks like the triceratons are only rounding up certain civilians whoa seems that whatever the triceratons are scanning for we're full of it <laughs> no big news there mikey's always been full of it in there the transionic particle reading is very strong let's move I'm telling you, April, it's crazy out there. I'm getting you out of town where it's safe. 
Look, Casey, I appreciate the thought, but I can take care of- <laughs> Um, okay, let's go! with these extraterrestrials. We must ask them what they want. Perhaps they mistook us for aggressors after we launched our jets. What is Inhabitants of this planet, you are now under my control and my command. I am Zan Raman, prime leader of the great and glorious Triceraton Republic. Here are demands. You will immediately surrender to us, Professor Honeycutt a Futatoid, or face annihilation. If you give us the Futatoid, we may spare your pathetic lives. Deny us, and you will be destroyed. You have ten Trigons to comply. There's a surprise. They're looking for the Futatoid. The term, oops, wrong planet, comes to mind. Yeah, Professor Egghead ain't on Earth no more. Judging from the tracking device they're using, the Triceratons followed the transionic residue of the transmat beam, thinking it was the Fugitoid's teleportal. But the Fugitoid's teleportal doesn't work, remember? We built it! It was a dud! So let me get this straight. The Tricera creeps are after someone who ain't even here, because they want an invention of his that don't even work? That about sums it up. Hello? Leo, guys, it's April. Casey and I are in kind of a tight spot. April, I can't hear you. Can you talk a little louder? Um, not really. We're being held by these aliens. They're big and ugly, and they stink. They've got a bunch of us here, in Central Park, and... No! Oh! Keep moving, you scum! Hello, April! No! They've got Casey and April. They're taking them to Central Park. Well, then why are we sitting here twiddling our shelves? Let's move! Uh, hey! Quit pushing, slime ball, or I'll... Uh, uh. Casey! You'll do as you're told, weakling. Reporting in. No sign of the turtles, sir. No, I agree, sir. At this point, if the Earthlings are in the Triceraton's clutches, they won't be alive for much longer. somewhere. Nice! A portable Alcatraz! Now everybody's gonna want one! 
Let's get ready to kick some shell. Hold it, Raph. We're way outnumbered. We need to use our heads. Guess that leaves Mikey out. You know, if all those people were set free at once, there'd be a lot of confusion. Mikey had a good idea? Mikey had a good idea. Donnie, how do we get the cage down? Well, see that? The cage is triangulated by those three hovering platforms. If we knock out one, the whole thing should come down. Mikey, Raph, see if you two can set up a diversion so Donnie and I can get in close enough to take out one of those platforms. Let's move! Commander Mozart, I grow impatient. Every moment we delay in getting our hands on the Fugitoid is a moment that could cost us dearly. We need the Fugitoid. I understand, Prime Leader, but the Earthlings continue to deny any knowledge of the Fugitoid whatsoever. They're lying. We trace the Fugitoid to this planet. He has to be here. Our contingency plan is already in motion. Our warriors have been rounding up any and all of the Earth creatures bearing a transionic residue. This means these Earthlings were in close proximity to the Fugitoid when he teleported to this planet. One of them is certain to have knowledge of him. They will share this knowledge with us willingly, or we will scan their brains and take what we need. Either way, the Fugitoid will be ours soon enough. Yes, excellent. Have the captives brought up at once. Got our orders. Let's get to work. I still think we gotta be busting ourselves out of here. I agree, Casey. But how? Come on, move it. Get your paws off of her, you pup! Casey! Put me down! I mean it! Put me down! <sighs> Hang on! I got a better idea! Check it out! Laser on overload! Run! Mikey, definitely Mikey. Come on, let's open the cage. Escape! 
things. Forget the prisoners. Capture the Terrapins! So, do these work like earth grenades? Yes, so. Point this at an alien and pull the trigger. Come on, people, is this so hard to understand? We're outnumbered. Send for reinforcements. Good work, Casey. Have you guys seen April? Uh, wasn't she with you? There she is. Guys! Guys! They got Don! He's on that ship! Donnie? Come on, we have to get a ship. Right, let's hit it. Casey, the Triceratons will be coming back for these people. Can you and April at least get them out of the park? Will do, Leo. Now, you guys go get your brother. What's going on? Okay, people, listen up. No acting like a stupid crowd in an invasion movie, because they always get vaporized. Somebody always gets vaporized. Yo, pal! It's probably gonna be you. It's like you got a sign on your back that says, Vaporize me. Casey, you're not helping. Okay, everybody, let's go. Good luck, guys. We just can't surrender. I will not be threatened. People of Earth, you have delayed too long in handing over the Fugitoid. Your time is up. Now, witness the consequences of inaction. An alien asteroid craft has entered the airspace over Beijing. And there's not a thing we can do to stop them. Who wants some? 
You seem a little upset. Care to talk about it? Just how many times do you expect me to have to disarm you? Go ahead. Make my day. Guys, here. I grabbed some breathers. We're gonna need them. All righty. Get this hunk of junk in the air. You're gonna help us save our brother. I refuse to pilot this craft. I will not collaborate with the enemy. Hmm. Okay. Mikey, why don't you try to fly it? It can't be any harder than a game of space destructors. Seriously? Wicked! My very own alien space fighter! Uh, Leo, are you sure this is a good idea? Good might not be exactly the right word. <sighs> this one looks important. No! Don't touch that! This ship, or we'll let Mikey here fly it again. No, no, I'll fly it. Zanramon. Kneel before our great leader. Ah! You! Me? Finally, I can make you pay for your past crimes. Helping the Fugitoid escape. Abusing my royal personage by holding me hostage. Disgracing our honored warriors, the Triceraton All-Stars, and, and, and you stole my personal space cruiser! Did I do all that? Huh. I always was an overachiever. Silence! Tell me where the future toy is, and I may make your end a little less painful. Tell me, where is that robot? I don't know! You defy me? No! The truth is, the future toy's not on Earth anymore. He's gone. Long gone! No more lies! Ah, we uh, know the future toy is here! Tell us where he is or perish! Assistance. What is the nature of your emergency? Emergency? What emergency? What did you do? You are trapped. Surrender. You have no choice. Respond, 29B. Um, not reading you. Need repairs. Must return to homeworld. What kind of repairs? There's a big hole in the... in the space engine thingy. But we're okay. It's, um, not that bad. Why do we let him talk? <sighs> this is the pilot. I am being held hostage. Destroy the ship. Destroy the ship. <laughs> Attention all squadrons. Fighter 29B has been designated rogue. 
terminate with extreme prejudice! You crazy hornhead! You'll be blown to pieces too! I would rather be destroyed by my own people than collaborate with the enemy. Uh, guys? That destroyed by his own people part? He's about to get his wish! <laughs> Warrior of the Fastala Nebula. All you're commanding is very commendable, but out of my way! Man, I don't know which is worse. Mikey's flying or being shot at. Proof of your lies. We captured this terrapin creature on your planet. A creature I last encountered on the far side of the galaxy, assisting the Fugitoids escape from the Triceraton authorities. His presence on your planet is proof that the Fugitoid is here. Give me the Fugitoid now! The Fugitoid is here. What is it? The President is sending in the Justice Force. The Justice Force? This is Bishop. We've lost the turtles. No. No, I disagree. We have to raise the stakes. Ananda, I just received official word. It's up to us now. I have Metalhead, and I managed to get Tsunami from Japan and Chrysalis from India to help. Let's make this the Justice Force's finest hour. has been defeated. Yes, Mr. President. The mobile units give us enough for one strike. Yes. Yes, sir. I just got the word. Initiate a full-scale nuclear strike against the mothership. Stupid humans have launched a salvo of nuclear missiles. They won't get through the shield, but at this speed, neither will we. 
You've obviously never played Space Destructors. Hang on to your shells, guys! present themselves. Remind me never to get that close to a nuclear explosion again. I've decided I don't like them so much. the Triceraton defenses. Yeah, but that freighter will. We need to land right on its back, very quietly. No problem. One stealth landing coming right up. You're not serious. Absolutely. This is a standard sci-fi spaceship infiltration technique. Watch the master at work, Raffy boy. actually pulling it off. See? He's not completely useless. I heard that. Freighter 239, you are cleared for landing. <laughs> <laughs> was easy. Don't jinx it. Okay, Felis Leader. How do we find Don? Uh, give me a second. If you couldn't tell, I'm making this up as I go. Halt! Move and you will be destroyed. Hey, Leo, could you make up something else? Something with a happy ending? Um, Leo? We're surrounded. Attack left. On my signal. No need to attack, my friends. Much as I would enjoy the rematch. Traximus? No way! Welcome to the Triceraton Rebellion. Rebellion? No way! Allow me to introduce a small part of my ever-growing rebel army. Hey! I know those guys! Looks like somebody brought back a few recruits from the Battle Nexus Tournament, just like he said he would. Me? I just had to settle for bringing back the championship trophy. I thought ah! we agreed you weren't gonna do that anymore. Ow! Brained gecko? How many times do I have to tell you? The Fugitoid is not on Earth! 
Our brains may be small, Terrapin scum, uh. but our tracking equipment does not lie. Uh. The Fugitoid's teleportation trail leads directly to your planet. He was on Earth, but he's not there anymore. Then where is he? I... I can't tell you that. Can't? Or won't? Very well. We pea-brained geckos will just have to extract the information from your oversized terrapin brain. Struggle all you want, fool. There is no resisting the Triceraton mind probe. Man, you got some horns, Traximus, putting your rebel base right under the Prime Leader's nose. San Roman is too focused on his insane war against the Federation to notice us. He has driven the Triceraton Republic to the brink of destruction. That is why he must be overthrown. Can't you just hold a recall election? <laughs> Thanks, pal. You just saved me the trouble of doing it myself. You remember Monzaram and his Triceraton All-Stars. Didn't we open a major can of butt kick on you guys in the Tri-Sports Arena? Of course, that was nothing compared to my unprecedented victory in the Battle Nexus Championship! <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Who's bad? Mikey's Is it possible your brother has grown even more annoying since last we met? It's a rare gift. Yeah, and I wish we could exchange it. So, Traximus, do you think your troops can help us spring Donatello? Monzaram and Aya will assist you. But beware, the Prime Leader has sworn a personal vengeance on you, Turtles. What exactly did you do to him? Other than take him hostage, get him blasted by his own troops, steal his space cruiser and get it blown to atoms, all while escaping with the Fugitoid? Not much. <laughs> Hello, my son. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Impossible. No one has ever resisted the mind probe. Clearly, the Earth creature has something to hide. But we have other methods of making him talk. I'll never tell you anything! Not even to save your miserable brothers? <gasps> oh, yes. We know they are in the same city where we apprehended you. Attention, people of Earth. Since you persist in your defiance by not giving up the future toid, we will continue to remove your cities from the planet and take them apart bit by bit until we find him. Starting with this densely populated island metropolis. where the Fugitoid is, and I won't have them hunted down and destroyed! Remind me again why we're walking through the stinking sewers? Because the guys weren't back at the park. We can't contact them without a shell cell. Heading back to the lair is the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, well, I think... Huh? I think... Uh...
while to get back to the lair. Still no sign of the turtles, but we've ID'd two of their associates. Shadow them. We need to follow every possible lead to the Fugitoid. Look, my agents are closing in, but you need to handle the Triceratons. We had a deal, remember? Well, it's a little hard to hold up my end of the bargain when they're slicing New York off the face of the planet. First, we'll need to get to a monitor station and determine where they're holding your brother. We'll make our way through the sewers. Never fails. So I still don't understand. How does a Triceraton All-Star like you end up fighting for the Rebellion? San Ramon had the entire team imprisoned after our humiliating defeat at your hands. Traximus helped us escape. Now my allegiance is only to him. Hey! Speaking of humiliating defeats, did I happen to mention I'm a Battle Nexus champion? Uh. Ow! Et tu, Leo! Sector Zag, all clear. Sector Rez, all clear. Sector Narzog, all clear. Sector right in front of your noses? No! But clear! Yes, but it won't be long before they realize the security system has been breached. We'll need to work fast. Wait, go back! The good news is your brother is on this base. The bad news is he's with the Prime Leader in the throne room. Can you get us in? Perhaps, if we can overcome a few obstacles. Um, would one of those obstacles be a bunch of heavily armed guards? Why should we believe you? Can't you just scan for his positronic energy signature or something? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fools do you take us for? Positronic energy signatures are as common as space dust. Not on Earth. Our technology isn't advanced enough. What? Why was I not informed of this? Well, naturally we just assumed. We Triceratons assume nothing except victory! Initiate Positronic Energy Scan, now! Yes, Prime Leader. This had better not be one of your Terrapin tricks. A way to stall for time, perhaps, while your brothers commit some act of sabotage. My brothers? Are you kidding? They wouldn't be caught dead in this place. Prime Leader! Excuse the interruption, but these spies were caught attempting to take over a security post. Wouldn't be caught dead in this place, eh? Well, they have been caught! And now, they will be exterminated. for all the crimes you have committed against the Triceraton Republic. And don't think I've forgotten about my space cruiser. 
Excuse me, Prime Leader, but would it not be best to prolong their agony in your private torture chamber? Ah, excellent suggestion, guard. Make it so. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, if this is your idea of a rescue, it's pretty lame. Huh? You were saying? Monza Ram! Okay. Open mouth, insert foot. Come, we must get you to an escape ship. We've scanned half the planet, sir. Not one positronic energy signature. Maybe the Terrapin was telling the truth. No! The Fugitoid must be here! He has to be here! Sir, three Terrapin creatures, an unknown alien, and one of our own attacked us and stole my uniform. What? Seal off the base! Do not let those creatures escape! All units, full alert! All units, full alert! We have alien intruders! Commence tri-base lockdown immediately! I repeat, full alert! Guess what? We're stealing it again. Good luck, my friends. Good thing we already know how to fly this thing. Actually, the Fugitoid piloted last time. <laughs> Scan is complete. 
Negative on all positronic energy signatures. The Fugitoid is not on Earth? Then this entire invasion has been a colossal waste of time and resources. The High Council will not be pleased. I'm the High Council! Besides, I can still save face with the destruction of those Terrapin creatures! Can't you do anything to shake those things, Donnie? Don't you get it, Rack? Those energy spheres follow us wherever we go! So maybe it's time to start using that to our advantage! Right! trail, one leading away from Earth. Apparently, the Fugitoid was on the planet briefly, then teleported off. Then, perhaps our search has not been in vain. Quickly, plot a course to follow that trail at once. Alert all ships. We're leaving this miserable backwater planet. So the Hornheads are packing it in. Looks like we saved the Earth from the alien invasion. Awesome! We'll get a hero's welcome! Dinner with the President! A made-for-TV movie! Or we could just continue hiding in the sewers and let someone else grab the glory. Look on the bright side. We got a cool spaceship out of the deal. And more importantly, this whole Fugitoid crisis is finally over. are leaving. We did it! You know, saving the human race gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling deep down in my shell. Reports are coming in from all across the world. The Triceratons are pulling out. It is over. Earth has been spared. And while authorities still aren't sure why the Triceratons came, or what it was exactly that they were after, one thing is for sure. It's good to be alive. Wow. Don, the last thing we need right now is to be the center of attention. Leo, we're flying an 80-ton Imperial space cruiser down Fifth Avenue. It's a little hard to keep it on the down low. This is the Mikey party line. What up? Michelangelo? Professor Honeycutt? No way! Hang on, I'll put you on speaker. We were just talking about you. Your ears must be burning. Not so. My ears are a steel alloy. It would have to be over 25,000 degrees Fahrenheit for combustion to occur. Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Professor, your interstellar signal is so clear. It sounds like you're only a mile away. Oh no, not a mile away. I'm at least 2.1 miles away at the site of the TCRI building. Here? On Earth? Oh boy! We'll be right there, Professor. Don't move. Donnie, we need to hide this thing pronto! It is 
ever so good to see my friends again. I wish we could say the same, but the Triceratons are here looking for you. I know. That is why I am here, to give myself up. I have just broadcast a message to the Triceratons' prime leader. You what? Are you crazy? Activate Null Field. Prepare engines for full ion burn. Departure countdown initiated. Sir, incoming message marked urgent. Sir, it's the Fugitoid. What? By the horn of Hagalir, stop everything! Put it on screen! Prime Leader San Ramon, you have hunted me across galaxies and shown no mercy to those who stood in your way. This cannot continue. I am here on Earth to surrender myself to you and spare countless billions of lives. Pinpoint that transmission! Scramble all fighters! I want our troops down there immediately! Now, bring me that robot's metal hide. <laughs> Professor, are you crazy? Do you know what the Triceratons will do to you? And what they'll do with your knowledge of Utram technology? Never fear, friends. I've already wiped my memory clean of any vital information. But, Professor, they'll take you apart finding that out. I'm rather hoping they do. I have a little surprise for them. Great. Just what we need. The Professor's off his shell. We'll think of something. Donnie, how long till the Triceratons get here? Oh, I'd say roughly about... Two seconds? Look, just give us some time to think of another plan, and please, stop giving them our location! Oh, but I'm not. They found us unaided. But how? Uh, well, that actually may be kind of my fault. I sort of showed the Triceratons how to scan for the Professor's Fugitoid body's positronic energy signature. It was the only way to convince them that the Professor wasn't on Earth. Well, he's on Earth now! Don, just how accurate is this scan? Miles, city blocks, inches. The positronic energy readings grow stronger this way. Hello, Triceratons! Over here! Hello there! Greetings, Professor Honeycutt. We've been looking for you for some time. I'm glad you found me. It saved me quite a walk. Get him! The Prime Leader will be quite pleased indeed. <laughs> Professor, next time we say hide. Hide! Cease fire! We must capture the Professor unharmed! 
Follow the signal! Don't let them escape! Move out! You can run, Professor. But you cannot hide. You're going the wrong way! The Triceratons are back there! Oh, really? This is too much! The Triceratons! Help! I'm over here! Shut up! We've got to keep moving. The Triceratons won't stop for a second. My friends, you must let me implement my plan. I cannot allow the Triceratons' rampage to continue because of me. I have made up my mind, and you can't stop me. Triceratons, come get me! Yoo-hoo! We've got to stop him for his own good. Take me to your prime leader! Don, do oh, something! Please, I insist! Um, that was kind of extreme. I panicked. Don, is there any way to turn off the signal the Triceratons are tracking? Well, I could try to mask it somehow, but it's gonna take time. And maybe the professor can give us a hand. Donatello, why are you looking at me like that? The signal is strongest here. He should be right. What? Four signals? I don't understand. Divide into units. Follow all four signals. Take the robot alive. And destroy anyone who gets in your way. What is going on? Where are your brothers? Sorry, Sensei. I'm kinda in a hurry. Ah! There it is! Come to Papa, baby! Michelangelo, I demand an explanation. No can do, Master Splinter. If I don't get out of here and fast, you're gonna have some very rude house guests. I'll explain later, I promise! Michelangelo! Come back here! Where are your brothers? You must! Professor, we gotta fly! All right, now that we got us some wheels, hold on tight, Professor! Coast looks clear. Come on, Professor, we have to keep moving. Donatello, this doesn't feel right. Not only am I spread all over town, but I'm still no closer to achieving my goal. Your plan is too risky. We can't just let them have you. We have to hide your signal. The guys are gonna keep the heat off us as long as they can. But if you don't help us, the Triceratons will catch them and obliterate them. I, I don't want to see you or your brothers hurt. <sighs> I will help you. Greetings, Donatello. Always a pleasure to see you in our humble habitation. Professor! Yes? No, not you. The other professor. What you got there? Uh, it's a talking football. Cool. Yup. Listen, Professor, is that package I left still here? Absolutely. A promise made is a debt unpaid. I let none lay a hand on it. Thanks, Professor. Gotta run! Very nice to meet you! Ah, uh, the younger generation, always on the move. I have a theory on that. <sighs> Hopefully this helicopter my brothers and I borrowed from the Shredder will throw the Triceratons off our track. They'll be looking for us on the ground. Or not! 
I don't know how you managed to confuse our scanners, but you will not live long enough to explain. I'll try and shake him while you work out a way to disguise that signal of yours. Righty go. Yo, ugly. Mm. Talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> to go. Come on, Professor! Pawn to Bishop One. Target in sight. Requesting permission to fire, sir. Permission granted. Successful. Mutant has robot on board. Sighting confirmed. 12th Quadrant. Message received, Sergeant. Continue observation. We have confirmation. The turtle creatures are in possession of the Fugitoid, and the Triceratons are closing in. But countermeasures are in place. Rest assured, my friend. Both of us will get what we're after. You have my personal guarantee. Donatello, I'm ready! I've finished creating an inverted sine wave that will nullify the signal and make me invisible to tracking! Perfect! Now, all we have to do is broadcast it! Hang on! Leo, we've worked out a way to cloak the Professor's signal! Get to the rendezvous, stat! I'll do my best! Whoa! But that might not be good enough! No! Can't we just be friends? So much for splitting up. It's kind of hard to shake a bunch of flying dinosaurs when they can track your every move. I sure hope there's room for three on that thing. I mean, two and a half.
You know, Mikey, I hate running, but I love to rumble. <laughs> Professor, that satellite dish array is just what the doctor ordered. Rightio, resequencing positronic receptors for digital output streaming. You're live, Professor. Time to broadcast some serious masking interface. Download interfacing. The signal grows stronger. They're close. Satellites, transmitting now. What? No! Keep searching. We must not lose them. The Prime Leader will have our heads. It's good to have you back in one piece, Professor. Yes, I agree. But now we must face reality. If you don't have an alternative plan, I really must surrender myself to the Triceratons. Give us time. We'll think of something, Professor. Freeze! We have you surrounded! Drop your weapons and place your hands in the air, or we will open fire! I'm afraid it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. On the ground! Hands behind your heads! Assume the position now! I got your position right here! <laughs> Neutralize them! Nice going, Rap! <laughs> Earth troops have such advanced weapons! Oh dear, I think I'd prefer to take my chances with the Triceratons. Remember, Bishop wants them alive. Oh dear. Okay, all clear. Master Splinter! April, Casey, what news do you bring of my sons? Actually, we were kind of hoping they were with you. Hmm. I fear for their safety. This is not good. I must collect a few things and then I will go find them. Cool! Where do we start? It will not be necessary for you to accompany me, Mr. Jones. But you don't know what it's like up there. Those horn-headed freaks are everywhere. Casey's right. No one's allowed out on the streets after dark. We were lucky to make it down here alive. That is precisely my point, my friends. It is too dangerous. But you don't even know where to start looking. I can at least help you track them through their shell cell signals. Mm. And I've been practicing the moves you taught me. You've been practicing ninjutsu? <laughs> yeah, right. No way. What do you think, Casey Jones? Uh, uh, cool move. Of course, you know I could have stopped you. Just didn't want to hurt you. I hate to put either one of you at risk. But only a fool ignores fate and the strange gifts it offers. Well, if it's strange gifts you're after, they don't come any stranger than Casey Jones. Now listen. The way of invisibility takes a lifetime to master. Circumstances, however, require us to train as we go. Observe and learn. Lesson one. Don't look so hot. Uh. 
Leave it to Casey to put the crash in crash course. What was that? Sir, I think it came from down there. Fan out! Search pattern try say the nine. If someone's hiding down here, we'll find. Lesson two. The way of silence. Where are we? At the end of the line, for you all. It's me you want. Leave my friends alone. Actually, Professor, it's you I don't want. Who are you? Well, Donatello, I'm the man the government relies upon for certain projects. The kind of projects they'd rather not dirty their own hands with. Hey, how do you know Donnie's name? And the Professor? I know all your names, Raphael, and much, much more. And yet we know nothing about you, not even your name. How rude is that? Very well, Michelangelo. When you scream my name, pleading to make the pain stop, begging for mercy, you may call me Bishop. Everybody has always been after me in the past. Actually, Professor Honeycutt, you're a valuable commodity to a certain interested party. Hello, Professor. General Blank! Great! That's the guy that was chasing down the Fugitoid back on the Hoonip! What's he want? Oh, right. Escort the Professor to the lab Agent Bishop has so graciously provided us with. Yes, sir. All right, General. You have your robot. Our deal is concluded. Yes. The Federation thanks you and your government for the assistance. The Professor's teleportal device will finally be ours. And with it, the Federation will once and for all annihilate the accursed Triceratons. Our ultimate victory is at hand! Do as you will with the Terrapins. <laughs> no! Attention all Federation units. We have the Fugitoid. Commence Operation Broken Horn. The Federation? Here? But that's impossible! You caught you with your horns down, didn't I, San Ramon? <sighs> There's nowhere to run this time. We Triceratops never run! We fight as we live! With honor and nobility! This is all your fault! Why did you not foresee this attack? But, Prime Leader, you ordered me to direct all our resources to search for the Fugitoid! Search no further. He's right here. What? No! Surrender now, or face certain destruction. We never surrender, Federation scum! We will fight to the last Triceraton! All ships, attack! <laughs> This is General Black. We're done hiding, gentlemen. Deploy all Federation deep cover fighters. Blast the Triceraton scum to the far side of the galaxy. Whoa, check it out. We must not get distracted. Come. Man, I wish I had my hockey mask. I feel kind of naked without it. I don't know. I like being able to see your face for a change. Yeah? No kidding? <clears throat> I said we must not get distracted. Oh, uh, right. 
Well, the good news is the shell cell signal is less than a mile away. The bad news is it's coming from across the river. Then we must find another way across. You're making a big mistake, Bishop. You can't trust that blank guy. He's no better than the Triceratons. Federation, Triceratons. It makes little difference to me. I help one destroy the other, and they promise to give me what I need and leave the Earth alone. But enough talk. Time for your dissection. Uh, guys, you know how I always like to take apart the toaster to see how it works? Well, I suddenly know how the toaster feels. Fascinating. Your genetic mutation is virtually identical to that of the only other specimen I've been able to find. Other specimen? What you talking about, Willis? Weatherhead? The shell cell signals haven't moved in a while, which means the guys might be held captive. Or unconscious. Yeah, either that or the. Uh, never mind. Kissing things getting to be a habit. <laughs> what? Years of research, and I've never seen a mutation like yours, or that of your crocodilian friend over there. Finding the exact source of your mutation is going to accelerate my ability to create an army of super soldiers by at least two decades. <laughs> Pity you won't survive the next two minutes. <laughs> Whatever this place was, it seems abandoned now. Yeah? Well, if it's abandoned, what are we sneaking around for? I don't get it. According to the scanner, we should be right on top of them. But there's nothing here. <laughs> nothing on the surface, perhaps. But what about below ground? Wait! When I was drowning before, I was heading toward a big light. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. What? No, uh, not that. There really was a light down there. An underwater entrance, perhaps? Attention. 
attention, Gamma Squadron. Report to Docking Bay 12. Gamma Squadron, Docking Bay 12. So, how do we get past all those guards? What was that, huh? You hogged all the goons. Plenty more where those came from. Master Splinter? No, thank you. It would only slow me down. I think that scanner of yours is busted. I'd say it's working perfectly. Wait. They are near. We must continue to search the facility. No point in leaving empty-handed. Hey, what's this thing? <laughs> Something best left out of your hands, Casey Jones. This hallway is laden with danger. We must proceed with caution. We must execute our movements with absolute precision. Come on, Casey. You can do it. I know you can do this, Casey. Almost there. I meant to trip the alarm! Silence! Move on. There's no one here? The intruders can't have gone far. Spread out and search. Go! Their scent. It grows stronger up ahead. Sorry, I can't administer a sedative, but it might corrupt my findings. I can't look! For the sacrifice you're about to make, your country thanks you, Michelangelo. No! What? Another mutation? Stop them! <laughs> Keep away from my son! <laughs> Whoa! Master Splinter! Man, talk about cutting it close! <laughs> Help me release your brothers! Huh? It is alright now, Raphael. We can't leave without the Fugitoid! Don't worry, we won't! Oh, man! Weatherhead! Can you hear me, buddy? My friend... I didn't think we'd ever see you again! The last time I saw you, our old lair caved in on you! Well, <laughs> I am very thick-skinned. Quite literally. GET THEM! Wake up! 
up, Raffy. Christmas came early this year. Thank you, Santa. Say goodbye to Michelangelo. Oh man, I really hate goodbyes. <laughs> Watch where you wave at that buzzsaw, pal. Stay back, all of you, or this will be the end of Michelangelo. Your brother's life is in grave danger, and you should have learned by now that I mean what I say. And you should have learned by now to never take your eyes off me! Our defense is on- Silence! The fate of our entire race depends on your efforts to find the future toy, and you have yet to bring me results. Prime Leader, there is a war raging around us. Don't you dare! Bring me results, Mozar, or by the Horn of Hagalir, I will see you disgraced and dishonored before a Triceraton firing squad. How close are we? All the connections are active, General. We should have full access momentarily. You should have known better than to try to hide from me. Your teleportal plans are mine, Professor. We're going to break you. No! No, please! Sir, I'm lowering our firewalls to give the mainframe full access. We've almost got it. Yes, we've got it. We're through. Defense protocols deactivated. Ah, perfect. 
We have full access to his database now, sir. With the designs for the teleportal in our hands, not only will we use it to completely destroy the Triceratons, but nothing will stop us from conquering half the known galaxies! Let the annihilation begin! Once the teleportal plans are ours, begin preparations to teleport explosives into the very heart of the Triceraton homeworld! Yes, sir. Um, sir, there seems to be a bit of a problem. What is it? The teleportal plans, they're, they're not here. Not here? Then, then where are they? I erased them. What? Before I return to Earth. I knew you'd never believe me, so I needed to give you access to my memory, so you could see for yourself that they're really gone. Now, if you'll excuse me... Sir, it's taking over our system. Shut it down! It's too late. He's locked us out. You've opened your entire mainframe to me. I'm inside the system. I am the system. As you should have remembered, General, I designed most of the Federation mainframe for you. No! Stop him! I'm sorry, General. I cannot allow you to disconnect me. Not just yet. I know the Professor is somewhere in this rat maze. Oh, uh, sorry, Master Splinter. Maybe they moved him. Uh, maybe not! Look! What the... To all the peoples of the planet Earth, it's the Professor! And the warring nations that orbit above, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I am Professor Honeycutt, and not so very long ago, I tried to create an instantaneous transportation system called the Teleportal, a device intended to bring people together, an invention to be used for peace. But instead, it has become the prize in an insane and never-ending war. Now I beg the Federation and Triceraton forces to hear me. The plans for the Teleportal are gone. Sir, it's on all frequencies! Scan him, you idiots! Get those teleporter plans! It is because of me that this insane war has come to this planet. And so, it is left to me to put things right. I have completely eradicated the technical specifications of the teleportal device from my memory circuits. Sir, it's jamming all our lines, interfering with all phases of research. It's that tin toy the Federation was after. Reboot the system and clear it. I need these cell samples analyzed immediately. The turtles are gonna help me with my work, whether they like it or not. Just how big is this creepy underground garage? It's gonna take forever to find the Professor. Maybe not. Now that he's broadcasting, maybe I can hack into their system and trace where his signal's coming from. Got it! I don't believe it! Telling the truth. Mozar! Report! The teleportal plans are not with the Fugitroid. It's. it's some kind of Federation trick! <laughs> Sever all links with the Fugitroid's transmission and go to full alert! Yes, Prime Leader! Purge the Fugitroid signal from the system! Rebooting! Now! All ships! Defensive maneuvers! My work here is almost done. And so that you won't go away empty-handed, I do have one last gift. To ensure that you learn the ways 
of harmony. May peace prevail. <laughs> Uploaded a virus. It's overloading all of our systems. We can't let it spread to the fleet. Initiate base isolation sequence. Jeez, oh, what now? movies to know. When the enemy base starts to blow up, it's time to go! Not without the Fugitoid. Come on, hurry! Sir, I think... What? Report! Sir, I've shut down the power to stop the virus. The fleet reports no effects. It appears to have worked. Then... it was all for nothing. This should be it. Allow me. Professor? Donatello, help me. Cover me, guys. Don't worry about me. Turn the power back on. Stop them from blocking my virus. Professor, it's too dangerous. Let's get you out of here. No, Donatello, I know the risks, but it's the only way to stop this insane war once and for all. Please, please help me. All right, Professor. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Stop them! They're trying to allow the virus to infect the fleet! Just a few more seconds, and... Go, Professor! Recommencing viral upload! to attack immediately! The entire enemy fleet is helpless before us! Victory is at last within our grasp! There is no honor in attacking a defenseless enemy, Prime Leader! Uh. This is not about ethics, Mozar. This is about the complete and utter annihilation of our lifelong adversaries! Open fire! At once, Prime Leader! What? Uh. No! What's happening? Ah! It's spreading to our ships! Cut all contact with that squadron! But sir, we can't leave them stranded! Do as I say! Cut them off! Now! Safe, Brian. 
Prime Leader. Whatever infected the Federation and our scouts has not touched the rest of our fleet or the home world. Excellent. Now, ready the long-range cannons. We'll blow the Federates out of the sky from here. We won't be carrying out that order, Zan Ramon, or any other dishonorable command you might care to give. Traximus! How did these traitors get in here? We walked. Now throw down your weapons. No! No! Open fire, guards! Blast them where they stand! What are you waiting for? Do it now! Mozart, do something! Can't you control your own men? Lower those weapons! It's over! What? What are you doing, Moza? What is this? This is revolution! Revolution is usually what happens when the world needs to change. Keep away from me! My troops will be here any second! You will all be destroyed! Not today, Blank. <laughs> Not ever. Professor, your virus has run its course! You did it! The Federation and Triceraton fleets are completely... Professor? Professor? Greetings, I am Sal, a B-21 Servitor Class Ruba. How may I be of service? How may I be of service? How may I be of service? Professor! No! was never meant to channel that kind of power. It burned out on him. He knew, Donnie. But he did it anyway. He was a true hero. This day forward, none shall sit upon the throne of the Triceratons. The Senate shall be reinstated and the Republic reborn. For too long this senseless war has cost us our honor and the lives of our finest soldiers. Let a new age begin! Draximus, our forces have completed the rescue efforts. The Federation troops are being brought onto the homeworld as we speak. We will treat them as allies and our guests until we deliver them safely to the Federation as our first gesture of peace. It will be done. There are but two prisoners that I must keep under lock and key. Perhaps they will also find a way to make peace. This Triceraton stench is more than I can stand! The only stench around here is your cowardice, Blank! You want a piece of me? Then bring it on, you stinking lizard, if you got the guts! Guess we ought to say something. I don't know what to say. Professor, I... I guess mainly I just want to say thanks. You were a good friend. Not only will you live on in our hearts, but your noble sacrifice will endure forever in the lasting gift 
of peace. Now the red one. Careful, careful. Now the blue wire. Aha! Good, it's working. Here, Leatherhead! Wear this for a minute! Huh? What? Mikey, what are you doing? Trying to get some TV reception! If you wait a minute, we'll have a whole new computerized communications array up and running. I don't want TV in a minute! I want it now! We are in the middle of a very delicate procedure here. So am I! Leatherhead, lean to the right! Mm. No, to the left! A little more! Wait! Don't move! We got something! A short time has passed since the mind-boggling alien invasion, but New York is already getting back on its feet. Citywide cleanup efforts will take time. Police are urging citizens to not touch anything. There's still a lot of live alien ordinance out there. And some good news! The Justice Force is back in action, helping clean up crews all over the city. Hey! It's my pal, Silver Sentry! You go, Super Dude! You... Ah! They were just getting to the best part! Smooth move, Leather Dork! Easy does it, Leatherhead. Don't listen to him. Mikey makes everybody crazy. It's his secret mutant power. Donatello! Have Leonardo and Raphael returned from Miss O'Neill's? Not yet, Master Splinter. Come, Michelangelo. You are only causing trouble here. Donatello and Leatherhead have important work to do. You and I will inspect the sewer tunnels. They may have been damaged in the alien attack. Besides, it will give us a chance to focus on your training. I am determined to see you establish a mind-body connection. No matter how feeble. Well, that's got it covered. This'll hold till you get it repaired. Thank you so much, Casey. I feel so much better now. Aw, oh, you know, anything for you, April. Hey, what are we? Vegetarian chop liver? Oh, come on, Raph. I think it's time for us to go. I did more work than he did, you know. Hey, Leo, race you home? Unless you're afraid I'll beat you like last time. <laughs> Raph, the only thing I'm afraid of is your faulty memory. I won last time. And looks like I'm gonna have to do it again, Mr. I can't admit defeat. Keep dreaming, bro. I'll wait for you back at the land. Side tunnels collapsed or flooded. It is worse than I feared. Yup, tunnels in sad shape. Well, let's head home. Focus, Michelangelo. Focus on the task at hand. Oh, my son, physically you have a natural affinity for the martial arts, but mentally your mind is undisciplined and unruly. I'm a teenager, Sensei. Undisciplined and unruly is what we do best. You are also a ninja. You must learn to use your mind more. And your mouth less. Whoa! Looks like another dead end. I was hoping to learn if the tunnels leading to the subway are still intact. To surface for a short distance. Woohoo! Hitting the surface! A very short distance. We will re enter the sewers one block to the west. Well, well, well. Pay dirt, Mr. Touch. It's the rat and one of his brood coming out of their little hidey hole. Then it would appear it's time for us to get to work, Mr. Go.
answer. What is it? Something is following us. Quickly, let us get underground. After you, Mr. Go. Oh, too kind, Mr. Touch. I'm hungry! Focus, Michelangelo, please, focus. But focusing makes me hungry. Poor Mr. Touch had better catch up or he's going to miss all the fun. Mr. Touch? Old Atlas Alley. I'll beat him home in half the time. No way, Leo's gonna beat me now. Uh, uh, oh, shit! be one of Mr. Rossetti's boys. I'm Mrs. Morrison. Help me, dear. Take my hand. I can't see you. 
I can't see anything. I've been blind for almost a year now. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Come on in and I'll show you what to do. Excuse me, ma'am. You seen any strange alien creature run by here? <laughs> Don't be silly. There aren't any aliens around here. Uh, he must have slipped past us. Maybe he phoned home or something. Ah, uh, keep looking. We'll find him. I don't get it! Super strength? Super speed? Sensei, how do we fight those guys? Focus, my son. Focus your mind and an opportunity will present itself. Well, I don't think there's gonna be enough time for my brain to kick in. Here comes the dandy duo now! Hello again, my friends. Since you will not party with us, we will bring the party to you. Incoming! Just getting warmed up! Who are these guys? All those boxes go near the door, the large trunk as well. You moving out, Mrs. M? Forced out, I'm afraid. The bank's foreclosing on my mortgage. Since my husband passed, well, the money's mostly gone and I haven't any other family. All I have is Lucy, my cat. This is going to be more fun than I had hoped, Mr. Touch. Absolutely, Mr. Go. Aw, oh, touch and go! That's cute! Wait! Touch and go! I have an idea! This is no time for jokes, my son! No, really, I have a plan! But first, we need to put some distance between us and the Wonder Twins! My son, I am happy you are finally exercising your mind, but... Just follow my lead, Sensei! I believe it's time for the mutants to catch a train, Mr. Go. Or for the train to catch the mutants, Mr. Touch. Mr. Go. I am rather pleased myself, Mr. Touch. <laughs> <laughs> Say we pay our employer a visit, Mr. Touch. I think it is payday for us, yes? Leatherhead, check the dish alignment. Something's still wonky. Hey guys, did Raphael get back yet? I don't think Haven't so. Seen him. He should have been back by now. <sighs> Knowing Raph, he's probably gotten himself into some kind of serious trouble. <sighs> yeah. Don't slurp, son. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Lucy's really taken a liking to you, Raphael. She usually doesn't take to strangers. She used to live in the alley out back. I sort of adopted her, or she adopted me. It's hard to tell with cats. Hey, I'm a bit of an alley cat, too. Well, maybe that's why she likes me. Oh, well, I shouldn't keep you any longer. It is a school night, after all. <laughs> yeah, my father will probably be waiting for me. Maybe you could stop by again, Raphael. Lucy and I will be here a little longer. We'd love to have you. Me? Really? 
Thanks, Mrs. M. I'd like that. We are pleased to report that our very first sortie was an unqualified success. Gentlemen, I am impressed. Most impressed. The pleasure was all ours, mon ami. My master will be most pleased. Your payment for the rat and one shell back. For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, and it's green, my favorite. Eliminate the other turtles and I'll triple it. Hello, room service. We placed no order. Uh, yes you did. Go away. We placed no order. Well, somebody ordered a serious butt whooping! Get off of me, you colossal oaf! Well, well, Mr. T. Looks like it's just you and me! And I pity the fool what throws me in front of a moving train! Let's try it again, shall we? Denied! <laughs> oh, so close! Uh. All right, Touchy. Now you're gonna get it! <laughs> what are you trying to pull? This silly fog will not protect you for long, little one. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't hit what you can't see? As a ninja, I don't have that problem! If you can't see me, you probably can't see your little buddy either. And I'm betting that if you can't get to him, once you're out of juice... You're out of luck! Shell of a shindig! Thanks for the lovely party favor! <laughs> Come, Michelangelo. We must go. It is not safe here. You know, Sensei, this whole using your mind thing, it's wild! First I thought, throw them in front of the train. But then I thought, no. Let them think they're throwing us in front of the train, and then... Yes, yes, my son. It is a brave new world for you. Jeez, Rap, I always said you were slow, but come on. What happened? Yo, guys! You won't believe this! I have in my possession a briefcase overflowing with possibilities! A truckload of rare comics, 22 new televisions, 832 consecutive days of Chinese takeout! Actually, Mikey, I got a better idea. Who's there? Hey, Mrs. M, it's me, Raphael. I found this case on your doorstep. It's, uh, it's full of money. <gasps> Who could have done such a thing? Know what I think? I think you got a guardian angel. Wants to see you stay right where you belong. I cannot tell you what welcome relief it is to be amongst friends. Master Splinter, your hospitality knows no bounds. You are welcome to live here with us, Leatherhead, as long as you wish. Leatherhead, could you help me practice my sparring? Hey, LH! Can you help me out with this hydro compressor I'm working on? Crockman, wrestle rematch, no holds barred. Big guy, the new issue of Justice Force versus Team Solaris just came out. I'll let you read it. As you can see, we all enjoy your company. Perhaps a little too much. <sighs> Master Splinter. Oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Just like a giant uh, croc in a china shop. That is not funny. I did not mean to break it. Whoa! 
Leatherhead, I was just joking. Everything is not a joke. I am not a joke. I am not a joke. Uh, is it me? Or did Leatherhead overreact just a little bit? Come on, we'd better see what we can do. LH? I'm sorry, big guy. I didn't mean to. No, friend. I am sorry. My temper has become so much worse since the tortures I endured in Agent Bishop's laboratory. It's okay. I understand. You know, some guys think that I have a little problem keeping my cool. Yeah, you do, Raph. But man, Leatherhead was like a raging wolverine with a- Ow! I seem to have no control over it. Whatever Bishop did to me in his genetics laboratory, it is as though a part of me has separated from my mind. My animal side grows stronger. I am sorry. I do not know what to do. It's going to be okay, Leatherhead. We'll work through it. You'll see. Everything is gonna be just fine. Except for that teapot. Ow! Ow! What? Well, well, well. Crocodilus porosus. Seems we've come to the right place. Yes, Amelia. Looks like you can believe what you read in the papers. Now, what say we get Betsy here geared up for the game, eh? We're gonna bag us a croc. And in a ceremony today, the mayor of New York gave the key to the city to our newest hero. Entrepreneur and inventor Oroku Saki has pledged his time and unlimited funds to help rebuild our fair town. With friends like Oroku Saki, New York City will be back to her full glory in no time at all. Shredder. Not safe! Not safe! 
I'm a monster! Mikey, come on, bro. No. Oh, please, Mikey, say something. I guess I'm lucky he didn't give me mouth to mouth. Uh, he's fine. Ow! Will someone please tell me what happened? Well, Leatherhead was having some kind of nightmare, and then he totally wigged out. Where is he? I gotta see if he's okay. He disappeared into the sewers. I think he thinks you're, you know. Oh man, poor Leatherhead. We gotta find him. Let him know Mikey's okay. Yes, but be careful. There are parts of his nature he can no longer control. He may see you as brothers or as enemies. My friends take me in, and this is how I repay them. I'm a savage, a horrible monster. There can be no home for me. Incredible! Ladies, this ain't no ordinary giant croc. This beauty is walking on two legs. This is gonna be our greatest trophy ever. Amelia, deploy sentries. We better watch our back. Wouldn't want that nasty croc sneaking up behind us. Ladies, let the hunt begin. It's Leatherhead, and he's not alone. He's being followed. Who'd be down here? I don't like this. We better stick to the shadows. We can do that. We're ninja, remember? What's this? Four more weird creatures prowl in the sewers? This is turning out to be the hunt of a lifetime. Amelia, Betsy, let's check it out. Whoa, these certainly aren't croc tracks. Like nothing I've ever seen before. Bagging this many creatures calls for a little something extra. Amelia, what do we have that will do the job and still leave enough of the animal to stuff and mount on the wall? Hmm, this might work. Leatherhead's marks are faint, but whoever this dude following him is, he sure is easy to track. Yeah, perhaps a little too easy. What were they doing there? Whoever's tracking Leatherhead, they're playing for keeps. Huh. Guys, be careful! This tunnel's loaded with... <laughs> mines. I stepped on a mine. That makes two of us. Donnie, deactivate it. Okay, this is gonna take a steady hand, a great sense of timing, and a whole lot of luck. Mikey, the bow staff. Okay, Leo, step off after three. One, two, three. Mikey, Keep constant pressure on that bow staff. Okay. 
Now what? Now Leo, Raph, and I go get some lunch. Guys, don't leave me here. Guys, it's not funny. I'll get him. Go on, Mikey. I'll be right behind you. Next time, Leo, watch where you're putting those big feet of yours. What kind of a whack bag would put mines in the sewers? The kind of whack bag that knows he's being followed. Michelangelo. How could I have hurt him? It's all too horrible. Too horrible. What have I become? You are a monster. A monster! Michelangelo! I... I'm a monster. I am a monster! <laughs> Ladies, let's bag the beastie. Good. Whoever you are, I'm glad you found me. A monster such as myself deserves to be hunted and destroyed. Oblivion would be a welcomed outcome to such a grotesque life. Do you hear that, girls? We are gonna be famous. We got ourselves a talking croc. And once we bag those other four creatures, we're gonna be superstars, I tell ya! Four other creatures? My friends? Hurt my friends? Hurt my friends? <laughs> You gave him a right nasty shock, didn't you, girl? That's my good girl. So, those other freaks are friends of yours, eh, Mr. Croc? I think we should hang you someplace where your mates are sure to find you. Amelia, Betsy and me would love to witness such a touching reunion. Just one false move, and it's Turtles Flambe! Couldn't be any worse than Big Feet Leonardo of the Landmines. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. You go first. My pleasure. Hmm, nicely done! Come on! Show-offs. <sighs> Leatherhead? What the shell? Come on! We gotta get him down from there! Look what our baits brought in. Seems we'll be adding giant turtles to our trophy room.
okay? <laughs> Michelangelo, is it you? You're all right. Sure I'm all right. We're a pretty thick-skinned bunch. You must be careful. There is a hunter and he's- We know. Let's just get you out of here. We'll deal with him. Hey! Looks like the Great White Hunter up and skedaddled! Then let's get the shell out of here. Don't move! I finally got ya! You lot heard Amelia! And Betsy here, she's going critical, she is! She's not gonna make it! And she's taking us all with her! She's just that type of girl! Personally, I don't really mind. That's the hunt. Sometimes you get the croc, sometimes the croc gets you. It's a shame, really. No one will know that with my last breath, I hunted down five of the most amazing animals I've ever seen. I don't see him. He gave his life to save ours. Actually, that statement would be in error, Donatello. Let's, go, 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 Let's go home, guys. No, I cannot. I simply will not risk staying with you. My temper, my anger. What if I can't control it? What if I had really hurt Michelangelo? Or worse? We'll help you. You'll learn how to control it. How to live with it. Yeah, you can do it. I mean, look at Mikey. He's learned to live with that face. I want to stay with you, but I cannot risk it. You know, I think I have the solution. Leatherhead, if you would do the honors. Follow me. Bonnie, where are we? It's an abandoned station from the 19th century. I found it on some archived blueprints I hacked off City Hall computers. It's beautiful. Here you'll be three minutes away from the lair. And it'll give you a little space to work things out. I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to thank us, Leatherhead. Yeah, us mutants gotta stick together. Family and all that. Yes, family. <sighs> sure is beautiful up here this time of year. It's nice to get away from the city after all we've been through. Together, you know. Quiet time, alone, just the two of us. <laughs> So, what exactly are you trying to say to me, Casey Jones? Okay, it's just, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I don't want to move too fast here or nothing, but I've been thinking, maybe... <laughs> don't mind us! Ha! Ah, much too slow, my son! <laughs> uh, please, go about your business. Uh, weren't you guys gonna go pick apples or something? <laughs> that was Don! <laughs> Although, Mikey and Raph said something about settling a bet. <laughs> Don't move! <laughs> Woohoo! Bullseye! That's it. After 20 consecutive double bullseyes, I'm officially declaring this contest a tie. Aww. But we haven't even gotten to the blindfold round yet. Forget it, William Tell. We came here to pick apples. We have to bring back at least one still... <laughs> Intact. Why, Hi. guys? Someone... Someone help. <laughs> Help me, please. They've... they've got a bomb. The city. Aliens. I didn't want... Not right. Gone too far. This man's been shot in the shoulder. What was he talking about? A bomb or something? He went over this way. I see his tracks. 
Let's finish this. Come on! I'll stay and do what I can for him. You guys need to lead the others away from here. Come on, after him! Move it! Shake your tail, boys! Go, go! We'll get that traitor yet! Yeah, we sure will! Come on, let's go! I don't know, skunk. Hunting down one of our own? Isn't this a little... extreme? Nothing is too extreme in the fight against the alien menace, Puke. Remember who we are. We're humans against the extraterrestrials. And as a member of HATE, Michael knew the rules. Our cause is a lifelong commitment. No one leaves. Find him. He's wounded. He won't get far. I need to make some last minute preparations at the base. We've come too far to let one traitor force us to scrub the entire mission. Sightings have in common? Uh, aliens? No! Well, yeah. But no! What else? New, New York, York City! City! That's right! They're dug deep in the Big Apple, and nobody's doing a freaking thing about it! Until now. the last best hope of the human race. And we're gonna blow it up right in the middle of Alien Central. Donnie, how's the patient? I've done all I can do for him here. We need to get him to a hospital fast. I can take him in the sidecar. Come on, I'll give you a hand with him. What about that bomb he was babbling about? I thought I heard the leader guy say something about a base. Let's find it. Anyways, I guess what I was trying to say before was... I mean, now that we're... You know, and all, uh... Maybe it's time we... Whoa! Driving, lady! April, wait! Hang on a second! 
Yeah, why don't you watch where you're standing? Who is this crazy woman, Arnold? Ma, I told you never to call me that. Ma, this is April. You know, the girl I've been telling you about. Oh, really? I get to meet the mystery woman? I don't know how many months I've been hearing about your fiancé. Fiancé? May I have a word with you in private? Dear? Did you tell your mother we're engaged? No! Kinda. Ugh. You gotta understand, my mom hates every girl I ever brought home. So I just said it to shut her up. I never thought she'd come looking for you. I just wanted her to like you is all. Cause you're, you know, special. Really? <clears throat> um, don't mind us guys. <clears throat> Perhaps we should continue our uh, meditation session elsewhere. So, you're gonna make me stand outside all alone the whole day? Don't come in, Mrs. Jones. The, uh, the place is a mess. <clears throat> oh, it's not that bad, dear. If you don't mind living in a big sty. Ah, piece of cake. These wackos got a lot to learn about covering the tracks. Just remember, these wackos are playing with some very dangerous toys. And we don't know how many of them there are. I say bring them on. Sorry, April. My ma has a real way of ticking people off. It's not your mom I'm angry with. She and I just got off on the wrong foot. <coughs> Here, let me help you with that. What do I look like? Some feeble old lady who can't carry her own bag? <coughs> Sorry, I, I was just... Here, see if you can't make yourself useful. <laughs> Mrs. Snodgrass down the road gave me ten bushels of her apples. You can haul him out to the barn. I can help too, Ma. No! Ow. You go into town and do the marketing. I got a list inside. I don't like to trust my money with strangers. Hey, wait a minute, I... <sighs> Need a hand? Now I see where Casey gets his ability to be so annoying. His mother. Do not take her disapproval personally, Miss O'Neill. Parents can be very overprotective of their children. Tell me about it. Dear, but they aren't peeled. Uh, I'd be happy to peel them. Good. Try not to bruise them up too much. Ugh. There's just no pleasing that woman. We 
got an unidentified male, shoulder wound, and multiple fractures. Let's bring him in. On my count. One, two, three! Sorry for the drop and dash, pal, but you're in good hands now. The bomb is good to go. Why haven't the patrols reported in? About time. What the? like a bomb. <laughs> this fit the bill? Don't touch that thing. That's not just any bomb. It's a thermonuclear device. And it's armed. What are these maniacs doing with the nuke? Wasting alien scum like you. Stop me from keeping this planet safe for the human race! Nothing! Look, why don't you make like a good little hate manga and disarm your nuke? Why don't you make like a good little alien and eat this? Oh! like a sucker. I'm just glad Mikey wasn't here to see us losing the bad guy. We'll never catch him now. Never say never, Donnie. <laughs> there you go. Peeled and cored. You did them all? I only need a dozen for the pie. <laughs> Such a waste. Oh. oh well, might as well press the rest into cider before they rot. Listen, I'm getting a little frustrated with you giving me orders all the time. I would prefer to be treated as an adult who happens to care a great deal about your son. I think I deserve a little respect. Well, all that negativity won't get those apples pressed, dear. Right. Let's get started on the cider. Those alien scum are still trying to stop me. I'll show them. Nobody stops humans against the extraterrestrials. This is where you get off. Since when am I supposed to do the crazy stuff? That's your department, Raph. Just go! He's king of the cycle. The main man of the motorbike. He's Turtle Canerdle, and he. Hey, my bros! Okay. Now all I have to do is remove the plutonium core at 90 miles an hour with a maniac at the wheel. <laughs> Enjoy the scenic route 
alien skull. Remember me? You're not going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me. Careful. Gotta get just the right... Oh! Ah! It's the wrong wire! Raph! The nuke's activated! Bail out! Now! Vaporized or something? That wasn't a nuclear explosion. I removed the plutonium core. But all your crazy driving made me set off the detonating charge. That's what blew. Hope the authorities don't mind handling the little gift we left for them. Hey! You guys need a ride? I'm back! How'd it go with Ma? Let's put it this way. We haven't killed each other... <laughs> ...yet. Oh no, Casey Jones! I have only one thing to say! I really like this girl! She passed the strength test, the patience test, the endurance test, the assertiveness test, and she makes pretty good apple cider, too. Here, have some pie and cider, dear. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Jones. Call me, Ma. You've earned it. And don't you worry about the dishes. Arnold will take care of them right after he helps me outside. Look, Ma, I got a confession to make. We're not really engaged. Oh, Arnold, you really think your mother couldn't figure that one out for herself? One more thing. You don't have to tell me now, but someday I'd really like to hear the story behind that big rat and the giant turtle. Good. Now, shoot all. Kia! Back fist strike. Kia! Front snap kick. Kia! Upper rising block. Kia! Double kick counter. Kia! Kia! Again. Kia! Kia! And finish. Okay, I can't move. Who wants to move? Wake me for breakfast. Note to self, buy Mikey some new deodorant. Training has concluded for tonight. We will resume your lessons in the morning. Time to beat the next level of battle, Ravage! <laughs> huh? Where'd the controllers go? I know I left them right here. <laughs> Sub-level 8! Oh yeah! Wait, 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 wait. Obviously you've forgotten a very important rule about video games. I always play! Yeah, and that's the problem, Mikey. It's our turn. We'll call you when there's an opening. Yeah, say in about 10 years. Now move your shell. It's no big deal, Mikey. Come on, relax. But how's a turtle supposed to rest and relax with nothing to do? Let Rap and Don have their game. You and I can hit the rooftops. Phew! Good workout, huh? It was all right. Kind of like level two on Battle Ravage. Hey! Check it out! Whoa! Cape, mask, dark brooding presence... Gotta be a superhero! Or some wacko! Come on! It 
Looks like he's chasing that truck. And doing it with some style, I might add. Remind you of anyone? A dark Avenger on a quest for justice? No. I don't believe it. We're being followed by some clown in a cape. Not for long, we ain't. <laughs> Identity? Casting his heroic shadow over the city he has sworn to protect? Relentless in his single-minded pursuit of dangerous villains? No. The Turtle Titan! I thought it was so obvious. What the? There he is again! Let's get him! Now what are these two supposed to be? His sidekicks or something? Who cares? We'll wipe them all out! Shots. <laughs> Why'd you risk your life for us? It's not your fight. And that truck? I need to know where it's going. Is it that important? Right now, following that truck means everything to me. <clears throat> you really ought to call in some backup! I can't. This one's personal. Okay, maybe. Just maybe this guy's kind of cool. I'll check back. You check top. Some costume vigilante's been nosing around my plant. I've had to take precautions. Ruffington. End of the line for you, pal. Hands behind your head and turn around. Just us. Not that I don't appreciate the assist, but what are you two doing here? Michelangelo and I figured you might come here. Hey, roaming the city at night, I'm sure you've heard of another mighty superhero. Mikey? He's really good. Great, actually. Goes by the name of Turtle Titan! 
No, sorry. Mikey, take that stuff off. He gets to wear his outfit. Michelangelo. Uh, all right. Hardy pooper. Can you handle this problem or not? That voice sounds familiar. We're not going to tolerate any more delays. You had better get it together, Ruffington. Hun! Don't get your biceps in a bunch. The other shipments will be arriving soon. You have until dawn to finish loading our barge. Do not disappoint us. <laughs> if Hun's involved, that means the Shredder is too. The Shredder? Oroku Saki, the current savior of New York. Yeah, and who's the dweeb in the vest? His name's Ruffington. He and I go way back. Back when I used to be a New York City detective. He claims you're still harassing him. Ruffington's dirty. You know he is. He's also powerful. You don't get to be the government's leading weapon supplier without making influential friends. He's also selling to the black market. Let me prove it. Too late. He's thrown his weight around, so as of today, you're off the street and reassigned to the archives. Overzealous cop reprimanded? Say goodbye to the man who just put your career on the skids. Burying me in the department wasn't enough. Ruffington had to destroy my life, my reputation, and my honor. I intend to get it all back. Count us in. Cannon, but it looks like Ruffington's made a few modifications. And he's selling these things on the street? How difficult is it to operate? Easy. Just... Ah! Ah! What's with the costume freaks around here? Take them out! Stockman has already tapped into Ruffington's security system. Oh, has he? Well, you know me. Always happy to lend a hand. The Turtles! I do not tolerate failure. I'm on it, sir. I have a job for you. Prime Fishery Warehouse. Now, I'll meet you there. No, you stay here. And you had better hope it goes well. My helicopter ready. Ah! Uh -oh. 
that nobody guy went? No, but here's a new wrinkle. <laughs> the riffraff one finds down at the docks, eh, Mr. Touch? Needs cleaning up, I'd say, Mr. Go. So, this is Touch and Go. Yeah, aren't they even uglier in person? Ah, Michelangelo, it is good to see you again. I've so missed your subtle wit. Mr. Touch, how about a special greeting for our clever friend? Certainly, Mr. Go. How's this? <laughs> ah! Ah! Splendid, Mr. Touch. But I'm not sure they got the point. Smashing sentiment, Mr. Touch, but perhaps a tad impersonal. Allow me. <laughs> so, little turtle man, where is your sharp tongue now? Ruffington! Ruffington! You won't escape me that easily, you worm! Mr. Go. My dear Mr. Touch, once again, you have read my mind. This ends tonight, Ruffington. Who are you? Thanks to the politicians in your pocket, I'm nobody. Then you won't be missed. Whatever we do, we can't let him recharge! Hey guys! Your dedication to teamwork is a real inspiration. In fact, we've been working on a little teamwork of our own. Ready, Leo? I'm on it, Mikey. Shuto! Back this strike! Yeah. Oh, front snap kick! Yeah. Yeah. Upper rising block! Yeah. Yeah. Double kick counter! Yeah. Again! Yeah. Yeah. And finish! <laughs> Splendid work indeed, Mr. Leonardo! <laughs> Who you are? I have to know. Somebody.
Aw, oh, man, you fried it! Me? You fried it? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Me too. I'll fix it in the morning. What time is it anyway? Bedtime. Hey, guys. We're gonna turn in. Good idea. We're beat too. Yeah, wake me for breakfast. Two days from now. <sighs> oh, good, you are up. Now that you have rested, let us resume our workout. Positions, please. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mayor, members of the press, in recent weeks I have been called the savior of the city. In all modesty, I am merely a man fortunate enough to possess the means to jumpstart the rebuilding of this great city. My salvage and construction crews will lead the way in restoring New York to a shining palace. Mr. Saki, do you have any comment on the allegations of your ties to an ancient criminal organization and your alleged connections to street gangs like the Purple Dragons? Uh, I'm sorry, but Mr. Saki-san is not taking questions at this time. Mr. Saki, is it true that renegade scientist Baxter Stockman is still on your payroll? Oh, <laughs> oh, I will right. Could you please move back? It appears this reporter has been overwhelmed by the excitement of this event. Gentlemen, the name of the game is Ninjutsu Stealth and Heightened Senses. Or as we like to call it, Hide and Seek! So, I guess this means I'm it. point of the exercise, Donnie. What? My senses are heightened with night vision goggles. What do you say we heighten your sense of pain? Time out. Duty calls. Hello? Ah, another wrong number. Somebody keeps trying to fax me or something. Yeah, yeah. Now where were we? Huh? The shell? Police copters? Something's going down in the park. Can't quite make out what it. Whoa. Triceratons? Uh, Don? Some kind of foot activity. Let's check it out. It's some kind of salvage operation. Look at all that alien tech they're grabbing. Something's not right. Yeah, they're cleaning everything up. No, I mean, something's not right. Foot Ninja. Good. I could use a workout. With these pajama heads, we'll be lucky if we break a sweat. <laughs> 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 Ow! Is it just me, or are we breaking a sweat? No sweat hit, Donnie boy! Oh, fellas! I'm breaking a sweat now! NYPD Sky Patrol 1. 
salvage perimeter is clear and secure. Roger that, Sky Patrol 1. Hey! Since when do police choppers patrol foot operations? Uh, guys, can someone please tell me what the shell that was all about? Two words. Alien technology. Right. Tons of it lying around after the big invasion. And apparently, Shredder's got all the salvage rights. And the police are helping him? Throw enough scratch at this city and you can make all kinds of new friends. So, uh, those reporters' allegations, anything I should know about? Pure tabloid fantasy, Mr. Mayor. Because the last thing I need in an election year is... Master! An urgent message! I gave explicit instructions that the mayor and I are not to be disturbed! You must forgive the rudeness of my bodyguard. Was he wearing a purple dragon's tattoo? The dragon is a symbol of great honor in the land of my ancestors. Now, I have been reviewing your plans for refurbishing Times Square. I am afraid $47 million is out of the question. Oh. You will require $147 million. I have already wired the funds into the city's account. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure you know best. Always. Whatever Shredder's up to with that alien tech, it can't be any good. The question is, how can we stop him? The old wooden clog in the machine. Sabotage. You mean, break stuff? Now you're talking words I understand. Those footcopters we saw earlier were headed towards the waterfront. Let's check it out. Open. <laughs> But I thought you'd want to know we encountered the turtles near the Central Park salvage operation. You are not to be seen or heard while I conduct our legitimate business. Is that clear? Yes, Master. As for the turtles, they must not be allowed to interfere with my plans. Actually, I have a little project that might come in handy. I've been... Never interrupt Mr. Saki, Dr. Chaplin. You'll have to excuse the new guy. He's a little overly enthusiastic. He just needs to learn his place. Let me see this project of yours, Dr. Chaplin. Well, when I say my project, it's really based on the groundbreaking work of Dr. Stockman. I mean, he's a giant in this field. It's hard to believe I actually get to lead a tech team with my idol. Lead? But I'm the tech division leader. So, here they are. I call them the Amazonian Bladebots. Do I detect a resemblance? You don't mind, do you? It's just that, well, I mean, you're just so perfect. Uh -oh. So anyway, these bots are the latest in remote-guided mech technology, completely controlled by our operatives in these Geosphere substations. Yes, well, the video game generation do enjoy their little playthings. I would like to see a demonstration. Why not let Karai test their metal? Excellent suggestion.
Mr. Saki. You did hear him say this was all based on my work. If your robots prove themselves by destroying the turtles, Dr. Chaplin, then perhaps we can retire your mentor, Dr. Stockman, once and for all. Looks like someone's going to be out of a job soon. I have other matters to attend to. Karai, proceed with the other operation we discussed. Wait, other operation? Is this something I should know, Master? Apparently, I'm not the only one who's being considered for early retirement. <laughs> Fallen Tribase, and the foot are already here. Let's see if we can slow down their salvage operation permanently. Looks like we're in the central elevator shaft. Man, this is weird. Everything's all turned around. Elevator going down. I mean, sideways. Mikey, keep it down. Check out the armory. We could have a heck of a 4th of July with these fireworks. Know what I think? We just found a way to keep the Tri-Base tech out of Shredder's hands. Down there, foot. They're industrious little monkeys, I'll give them that. So that's what they're after. The Tri-Base power core. Doesn't look so dangerous to me. Are you kidding? There's enough juice in that thing to wipe out the entire city. And most of New Jersey, too. We can take them out easy. They're not ninjas. They're just flunkies. No! They fight like Karai! So wait! Uh, you're saying Karai trained these flunkies? I guess she's still working for the Shredder. Lucky us! Hey, careful with that thing! Unless you want to vaporize everything within a hundred mile radius! So how do we keep Shredder's goons from coming back for it? By making it inoperable. We'll need something to short out its circuitry. Something like... Huh? Water. A lot of water. Salt water. A few well-placed explosive charges in the Tribase's asteroid underbelly should open up the floodgates and short out the power core. By the time we're done, there won't be any alien tech left for the foot to salvage. Timer set for one Trigon. About 10 minutes by my calculation. Plenty of time for us to get out. Huh? Or for something else to get in. Well, this is something new. Karai? A whole lot of Karai. Karai triplets! <laughs> before those explosives blow! <laughs> 
flames are indestructible! What if this young upstart punk actually succeeds in finishing off those reptiles? I'll be finished. Retired. Permanently. We'll see about that. You guys alright? Fine. We're swell. I'd be a whole lot better if we could get the shell out of the stinking tri-base. Come on. Up here. It's the only way out of the chamber. Guys, hurry up before the water fries the power core. Whoa, that was close. But at least we made it up. Yeah, up, but not out. Yes! One toasted power core with a side order of bot fries! What the? Hey! I think we've damaged this one! Sorry, Karai! ourselves going down with the ship! and keep on ticking. Let's see them lick this. What? About time we caught a lucky break. Are you out of your shell? Those sparking Karaibots just fell into a room full of Triceraton explosives. <laughs> I'm afraid they got away. What? She couldn't give us a lift? Shut up and swim! I don't understand what happened. The bots were all working perfectly and then somehow they just self-destructed. Here's the problem. A glitch in the power surge protection code. Rookie mistake. One I can easily correct. Please don't blame the boy. It's my fault. I should have checked his programming more thoroughly. See that you do in the future. This entire project would have been a complete failure had I not heeded Karai's advice. The Tribase operation was simply a decoy to keep the Turtles busy while she recovered this. My true objective. Uh... I would be happy to examine whatever alien technology you were able to. If I can assist you in any way, Master, I... Enough! Karai and I need to discuss how best to rid this organization of dead weight. Master, if I may, this ongoing project of obtaining alien technology costs are skyrocketing. I appreciate your concern, Karai. But money will be meaningless where I am going. A 
April? Anybody home? April's in trouble! I give! I give! Huh? Easy, April, it's only me! Casey! What the heck are you doing? That has to be the dumbest thing in the history of dumbest things anybody could ever do! What were you thinking? I'm thinking I'm glad that's just the wiffle bat! Sheesh! No! I mean, why would you do such a thing? You asked me to, remember? I did not! Sure you did! You was bragging about your ninja fighting skills, and I said I ought to sneak up on you sometime and test how good you was. And you said that sounded like an interesting idea. Um... So, how are you guys doing? I was about to make some hot chocolate. I can easily make enough for five. Hot that would chocolate! Be all yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Great! I love hot chocolate! One, two, three, four, and five. No! Oh! Come on, April, you weren't that scared. You beat the crud out of me. Uh, April? Guys? Jeez, everybody's so sensitive around here. Think Casey's okay out there? That's probably him now. He's such a bonehead. Uh, hello? Huh, it's not Casey. Sounds like somebody's trying to send a fax. Oh, that Casey gets me so mad. What are you talking about, April? You totally clobbered him. Well, it's just that I really thought I was getting somewhere in my training with Master Splinter. But Casey caught me totally by surprise. I should have heard him coming. You guys would have. It takes a lot of practice. Master Splinter spent a lot of time training us to be aware of our surroundings at all times. After a while, though, if you've studied hard enough, you get a sixth sense for it. Maybe you guys could help with my ninja training. No way! Why not? I'm a quick learner. No, April, it's not you. It's us. Last time we tried to play Sensei, well, let's just say it didn't work out too well. Yeah, we thought we could teach this kid. <laughs> and we were just kids ourselves. Raph, that's no way to tell a story. Here, let me do it. It was a dark and stormy night in a galaxy far, far away. Mikey. Uh, uh I mean, many moons ago, on a night much like this one, <laughs> we were four young turtle tots facing the most horrible of dangerous dangers. Dun, 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 the wrath of Master Splinter. We'd been warned. We knew what we were not supposed to be doing. <laughs> Not go to the surface. Never ever go up to the street. It is far too dangerous. <gasps> Under no circumstances should you ever go above ground. If you ever even think of going topside, just do not. You had better hope I never catch you going out of the sewers. So, what did you guys do? We went topside. When we finally got the lid off. No cutting in line. Then move your big fat shell! It's amazing! All this open space! Man! Master Splint has been holding out on us! Up here, it's... It's... Beautiful! What we didn't know was that just around the corner was Destiny! Or, actually, it was this kid who needed help! It's Danny McDonough and his wolf pack! Those guys think they own the street. How come they gotta play in front of my steps, Stevie? I'll help you. We'll stand up to them. Well, I'd like to, but they just beat the crud out of us. You go on around to go home. I'll be okay. Be careful. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. Here comes Arnie Dork. You forgot to pay your toll yesterday. This here's our street. I don't want no trouble. Well, you got trouble, doesn't he, boys? Come on, yeah, right. right. sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, teenage
convinced us to help the kid out. To train him, so we wouldn't need little green guardian angels all the time. We thought we already knew everything there was to know about ninjutsu, so how hard could teaching be? And it had to be better than being stuck in the sewers doing nothing. Okay, you guys know the plan. We'll each take turns teaching the kid what we know. Agreed? Agreed! Agreed. But remember, guys, no matter what happens, we can't let Master Splinter know what we're up to. Hey, kid, I saw what happened earlier. You know, you really shouldn't let those bullies push you around like that. Uh, it's no biggie. I'll heal. It is a big deal. It's a matter of honor. You can't surrender your honor so easily. The street belongs to everybody. Not for guys like you and me. We're too small. No, those guys are small because they have no heart and no honor. My sensei, my teacher always taught me that true strength comes from within. Yeah, maybe. But how do you get it on the outside? You train. Train in the art of self-defense. I can help you. Teach you. First of all, you have to be serious about wanting to change things. You have to feel the power. Connect with the power. Find your inner core. Your honor, your true heart. Have you found it yet? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, little dude, I can't feel my legs. That's a good thing. Stay focused and breathe, and you'll find your true strength. Excellent, Michelangelo. Donatello, lift your leg higher for the kick. Sorry, Master Splinter. That is enough for now. You may rest, my son. It is Leonardo's turn to train. Oh, boy. Come, Leonardo. But, Master Splinter, we want to keep practicing. But it is Leonardo's turn. Leo won't mind, will you, Leonardo? Uh, wave if it's okay, Leonardo. <laughs> See? Leo doesn't mind! Hmm. Uh, 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 is this right, Master Splinter? What about this leaping over the leg sweep? I think I'm getting better. I said enough practice. Leonardo. Leonardo? This is it. It's all over. We are so cooked. Leonardo! Uh, yes, Master Splinter? It is time for your practice. Oh, okay. Coming, Sensei. Sorry I didn't answer earlier. 
I kind of dozed off there for a moment. Now the student has become the master. <laughs> Ready for more learning? Well, I've been trying to be serious and breathe and stuff to find my inner strength, like you said, but kind of makes my head hurt. And I still can't feel my legs. What, are you kidding me? Get up, get up! Forget all that baloney. The first and most important lesson is this. You need the right attitude. And part of having a winning attitude is having a cool battle cry. A heroic superhero kind of battle cry, like in the comic books. I got it! Goru Goru Sama! Go ro ro bo. What? Goru Goru Sama! It means Mr. Thunder! Goru Goru Sama! It's perfect for you! If you yell out Goru Goru Sama while charging into battle, your foes will flee like cowards before you! Ooh, I really want to see that! Come on, let's try it! Oh, they're just gonna cream me again. Not with your cool new heroic battle cry! Remember, Goru Goru Sama! Now go get him! Go, 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 Maybe I didn't give him the right name. How's it going? Um, great. Good, because I've got something really special planned for him. He's gonna love it. It's important to really think your actions through. It's all like a game of chess. You have to be thinking three to four moves ahead of your adversary, planning, knowing what's coming. Uh... Uh... take a little more time, I guess. Uh, I'll be right back. Good luck. I've been studying the board like you said, and I still don't get it. I like the horsey, though. I'm trying to think it through, but I don't know. Listen, pal, the first and most important lesson is never think. Never. Just act and react and always attack. I sure wish you'd make up your mind. Be serious, use a battle cry, think it through, never think. I don't get it. What you need is a weapon. It's all about the weapons. We gotta find you some kind of weapon. Try. Okay. Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe you just need a better target. Let's see how you do in combat. Now remember, focus on your weapons. It's all about the weapons. Hey, come on, get 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 over here. Here. Come on, get over here. Get over here. to work on the kid's aim a little. Or find him a different weapon. Now, I wish for you to take what you have learned and use it in pairs. Michelangelo and Leonardo, Donatello and Raphael. Where is Raphael? Uh, he's in the shower? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's in, in the, the shower! shower. <laughs> you four have been acting very strangely of late. Uh, Raphael! 
time to get out of the shower! <laughs> Raphael! Raffy, hold still! <laughs> there! What was that for? You just got out of the shower! <gasps> I just got out of the shower, Sensei. Hmm, I can see that. Do you always shower with your mask on? Uh, yeah. It's a great way to keep it clean. Come, let us resume your training. Okay, now it's time to try out what you've learned. To face your enemies. But you already made me face them twice, and they creamed me both times. Eh, I did? Well, just try it again, using everything you've learned. So, do you think he learned anything? I hope so. I mean, you taught him basic self-defense, right, Mikey? How to punch and kick, and I covered inner strength. I didn't teach him any fighting skills. I thought Raph was gonna. I didn't. Donnie, did you? Oh, Shell. Go Sumogawa! <laughs> okay, we're gonna start over. But this time with the real basics. Right! Or as Master Splinter would say, the foundation of any house must start strong and... Ah! Master, Master Splinter! Like you, but not as good as you. You know, trying to follow in your footsteps? There's this kid and... Uh... Enough! Home! Now! But the kid! We can't just abandon him! You are not ready to teach! You could do more damage than good! The boy must find his own path, as you must find yours. Now come, we are going home. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man! Was Splinter angry? He must have made us practice for 78 hours straight. I think he wanted to make sure we were so tired we wouldn't be able to go topside. So, whatever happened to this kid? You know? I don't know. I'll just have to tell that kid in the red hat the training isn't working. Guess I just don't have what it takes. Hey, Geek Boy, doing a little reading? Oh, you're gonna cry? Oh, look, he's gonna cry! Give it back! Stevie? <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> huh? Christmas time. I love it. Even if I have to wear this scratchy scarf. Hey! Uh, sorry, mister. I wasn't aiming at you. I was trying to hit Jimmy. <laughs> Tell you what, kid. Let me borrow your sled for a bit and we'll call it even. <laughs> Yeah, 
Cowabunga! Hey! I made a snow turtle! Maybe I'll start a new trend! Hey, mister, you do some sick tricks! You're all right! Yep, best town in the world, especially at Christmas. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Aw, poor little guy, all alone out here in the cold. No collar. Hmm. Come on, you'll be nice and warm in here, and maybe we can find you a home. With the tree, as promised, we had to go to three different lots. They're almost all sold out. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't need any help or nothing. Ow! Hey, hey, Case, watch the tree, will you? We don't want it damaged. Whoa! <sighs> oh, no, I'm okay. Thanks for all your concern. I didn't break nothing. I just had a huge stone elevator door slam shut on my head. No biggie. Whoa. Yeah, you're lucky it was your head and nothing important. Perhaps we had best start cooking the dinner. Count me in. Cooking the holiday dinner's almost as fun as eating it. That's not what Mikey would say. Yeah, where is that bozo? I'm starting to worry about him. He's been gone all day. Come on, it's Christmas Eve. Even Mikey couldn't get into trouble on a night like tonight. Unless he stops by the toy store. Again. I... I can't take it! They've got the new Sergeant Guts and Glory action figure with remote control tank! And they've got the new Captain Fanatic space probe! And the Mavis moon jumper! And of course, they're sold out of the Little Orphan Alien dolls. Boy, those things just won't stay on the shelf. That's one hot toy. You said it, Clunk. You don't mind if I call you Clunk, do you? I always wanted a cat named Clunk. Oh, get back! Leave me alone! What do you want? Just your truck. And all the little orphan aliens in it. You can't steal this truck. This whole lot of little orphan aliens is being donated to the Brown Street Children's Home. Have a heart, will you? It's Christmas! And that's why we're giving ourselves this truck. It's our Christmas present. Uh, uh. Ho, 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 bozo. Oh! <laughs> Man, just imagine how much we'll get for these things on the internet. These little orphan alien dolls go for five times what you pay for them in the stores. And we didn't pay nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't paid yet, but they will. Better lay low, Clunk. Things might get a little rough. Wrath. What's with the, uh, butterfly swords? Just trimming the tree! Man, I'm good. I should have been a barber. Little off the top? Uh, no thanks. Christmas cookies are in the oven. Who wants to lick the bowl? This is sweet! Normally, Mikey hogs all the good stuff. Maybe we ought to go look for Mikey. Nah, he'll be okay. He's probably on his way back right now.
kind of dizzy right now! What the? That punk would attack us as Skitchin on the back! Not for long, he ain't. This isn't so hard! I owe Silver! I got it all under control! Lucky for me, I have a shell! Right, Clunk? I don't believe it. That monkey's still back there. Bring him up front. We'll take care of him. You got it. Ha! We made it! Then again... We'll go take care of them permanently. You see him? I don't see nothing. Maybe he ain't in there. Merry Christmas, boys. I got you something. It's a kick in the stomach. Hope you liked it. I don't believe it. He took out Teuton and Spike. Yo, it's Sonny. I'm on 18th and 1st. I got some freak on my case. I could use a little backup. Got it. I'll meet you halfway. Oh, oh, oh. Where's he going? Call the cops! Those guys are crooks! They tried to hijack this truck! We got the third perp that hijacked the truck full of toys. Looks like there's still a fourth hijacker hanging onto the truck. And now for the fun part, driving. Check it out, Blunt. about the blindfolds, folks. Matt is the security and all that jazz. You know I can see through this blindfold with my x-ray vision, right? Just play along, will ya? It's from Master Splinter. He's got this thing about letting people know where we live. Merry Christmas, everybody. And Happy Kwanzaa. Thank you so much for inviting us. You are all welcome in our home. Man, those dudes wear their turtle costumes even on Christmas. Uh, yup. So, where's my sidekick? Where's the Turtle Titan? I thought Michelangelo would be here. Yeah, so do we. 
Uh, don't worry, he'll be here any minute. It's what James Bond would do! Do something! Get me closer. I'll blow out his tires. Tailgaters! <laughs> Yo, what do you know? Mistletoe. Ain't we supposed to kiss or something? That's not enough mistletoe to make me kiss you. I'm afraid you'll need a whole tree. Whoa! Check it out! More mistletoe! Hey, bro, wait up! More mistletoe! There's no way out of it. You gotta kiss me. Look, it's following us. It's a sign. A sign from above. Exactly! Hi, April. What you got there? Mistletoe. <laughs> Jones, did you put them up to this? No, never. Uh, maybe. Okay, then. Pucker up. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, right in the kisser. <laughs> It is an honor to be in your home, Splinter Sensei. The honor is all mine. Kori suma suo me dato, Leonardo san. I got you something. A sword? Wicked! I got you something, too. A sword? What a wonderful gift. Nice letter openers, boys. Now, where's the free chow? I'm starving. Please come. All are welcome at our table. Dragon bozos, and I end up on the world's scariest police chases! Yo! I'm one of the good guys! Hello, a police roadblock. For what I am about to do, forgive me! Forgive me, Mr. Jones. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Yo, April, give it up, will ya? Raff and I couldn't beat him. There's no way you... You were saying, Casey Jones? Thanks. I think they fell for it. My pleasure. And, as promised, your reward. Actually, the look on those guys' faces was reward enough. 
Okay, I'll just give three dozen of my famous double chocolate cookies to the guys then. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean that. I'll take them. I love cookies. Hmm. Hmm. Dinner's ready. Um, you okay, Sensei? Yes, my son. I am fine. Just visiting an old friend. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Let's chow down on the holiday goodies! No, this is a time for family and being together. We must wait for Michelangelo. Where is that bomb? <laughs> Give Mikey another five minutes, but that's it. The food's getting cold. Agreed. You better get here soon, that bonehead. Everybody, meet my friend, Clunk. Mikey, where have you been? Our guests have been waiting. It is very rude. I know, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna believe what happened. Mikey, we don't want to hear some lame story. Uh, 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 Raph. Remember, this is supposed to be a season of giving. Yeah, and I'm thinking about giving you a well-seasoned smack upside the head. Guys, it's Christmas Eve. It's a time to remember those less fortunate than ourselves. In fact, it's a time not to think of ourselves at all. And I have just the ticket. Michelangelo is right. This is definitely a time for thinking of others. A season of giving. Happy holidays, everybody! Donnie, these techno geek midnight brainstorms of yours have got to stop. Are you kidding me? When we're done, the battle shell will be sweeter than. Guys! Guys, are you in there? Something terrible has happened. Where are we going? Wall Street and Hanover. Take the West Side Highway. Wall Street? Is this about your portfolio? Too many tech stocks, huh? Whoa. Gold? No way! Angel, where did you get a gold coin? My brother gave it to me. He found it at the construction job he was working, at the Volpahart building. It's dated 1611. Oh, your brother found buried treasure? I told him not to go back. I told him I had a bad feeling about it. That was three days ago. Since then, nothing. 
What did the police say? They said they were too busy dealing with the fallout from the invasion to look for some punk on a treasure hunt. It's okay, kid. We'll find you, bro. There it is! That's the Volpa Heart building. Man, talk about creepy central! <laughs> Get it? What kind of a building on Wall Street doesn't have any security? Guys, look! C. F. Volpahart, 1616. Whoa! Could this place be any more like Castle Dracula? You have come. Who said that? What? You okay, Angel? It's, it's probably just my imagination. I'm a little freaked out, is all. Come to me. Angel, how did you... I... I don't know. I, I just sort of knew it was there. says, abandon all hope, ye who enter here. See? What did I tell you? Creepy! Yeah? Well, check this out. Ah! Uh, can we get a move on? We gotta find my brother. He's gotta be in here. Angel, no! <laughs> Too far. There is no going back. If you truly wish answers to your questions, then follow me. Uh, sir? Aren't you the least bit freaked out? I mean, seeing us? I have seen many strange things in my life. Very little surprises me. But know this. The money you seek will never be yours. It is bait for a trap. Only a gruesome fate awaits those who go after it. We're not here for the money. We're looking for my brother. Tall, brown hair. He found this coin here and came back looking for more. That would have been about three days ago. Yes, he was here. I gave him the same warning I give them all. But he ignored me. He went through the golden door and will never return. Then we'll just have to go in after him. Ignoramus! Perhaps you will change your mind when you know something of what you will find there. 
A thousand years ago, there fell to Earth a meteorite. It brought with it a creature of terrible evil and insatiable hunger. Whispering promises of great wealth and power, the creature lured the gluttonous and greedy to its side. Fortunately, the native people proved too strong of character. In fact, they created a weapon to protect themselves from the creature. A weapon created from the glowing red stone of the meteor itself. But before the natives could slay the atrocity with the meteor spear, the call of the creature's lure had reached across the sea to a race of men filled with greed for the gold of the new world. One such man was C.F. Volpahart. Volpahart took the land by force. And so Volpahart's fortune grew. His dark legacy endured. And the ancient evil creature from the stars thrived. It is no accident that the financial capital for the entire nation surrounds this very edifice. The Volpahart building. But what about you? How do you fit into this? I... I am Volpahart's heir. I vowed to destroy the creature. To lift the curse from my family. But... I was too weak. Too long under its influence. No matter how much I desired to end its accursed life. I could not. Do you still wish to face this beast? We don't have a choice. We have to. You have courage. Here, the meteor spear. May it serve you in your time of need. Hey guys, wait up! Sorry, Angel. You gotta stay here where it's safe. Please, find my brother. We will. I promise. Over here. What are these? <laughs> this is a civil war bond. This guy must be 150 years old. There are thousands of these cells. If Angel's brother ended up in here, it could take us weeks to find him. Don't look now, but the creepy meter just went deaf gone one! Is it more than one creature? I don't know. I don't want to know! You were in trouble, my son. I came to rescue you. Where are the others? We must find them. And we must hurry! Angel? What are you doing here? We told you to stay outside. <laughs> this is no time for games. Wait up! Where are you going? <laughs> Angel, I 
I don't know what's going on, but get away from the edge. <laughs> got us, but it was merciful. It offered us the chance to join it, to serve it, to become like it. I took its offer. lunch asleep or awake let's get angel's brother and get the shell out of here when i opened your cells they were glowing something to do with the creature's power Don't worry, you're hallucinating. 
fascinating. We're just part of a very, very weird dream. Now let's get you out of here before it's too late! <laughs> Defeated the beast. I am free from its grasp. Free? What do you mean? My name is C.F. Volpahart. After a nap, and a shower. Hey! Where's the old dude? You're standing on him. Uh, 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 gross, gross, gross! Ah! Come on, let's go home. I've had more than enough weirdness for a lifetime, let alone one day. Hello? Come to me. Serve me. I will give you power and wealth. I will give you the world. <laughs> Chaplain, I trust what you have to show me will justify this excursion from the city. Believe me, Master, you're gonna dig it big time. You brought us all the way out here for a blimp? What pea-brained halfwit authorized this project? I did. Oh, well. I'm sure you have your reasons, O oh wise and revered master. Indeed. Excellent work, Dr. Chaplin. I installed that Triceraton force field override mechanism you recovered, just as you requested, sir. This baby will breach the atmospheric shield around Beijing and retrieve the desired cargo, no problem. And just what does the boy genius think he's retrieving? A Triceraton anti-gravity generator. But Master, removing an anti-grav generator from a city floating 20 miles above the Earth's surface is a virtual suicide mission. Yes, that is why I have selected you to lead this operation. Me? But Master, what of the millions of innocents that will perish when Beijing comes crashing to Earth? 
They are of no concern to me. How dare you question the Master? I'm behind this plan 100%. Good. You will have the honor of accompanying Dr. Stockman on this extremely dangerous mission. Just like I told you, another one of Shredder's alien tech garbage picking goon squads. I wonder what he's collecting all this stuff for. Intergalactic yard sale? Ow! Hmm. No police security this time around. Must be something really important buried down there if Shredder doesn't want the authorities knowing about it. Huh? Hello? <sighs> oh, not that stupid fax call again. Only this time, I came prepared with my palm top to trace the signal. Download in progress? Impossible! Don, figure it out later. We've got something much bigger over here. Whoa! A Triceraton supply ship? Let's take a closer look. All our loyal service. And this is the thanks we get. Pushed aside by the new blood. Perhaps it's time we started pushing back. Hey, I just wanted to say, no matter how bad the Shredder treats you, I'm still honored to be working with the legendary Baxter Stockman. Even if you are a freakish, brain-in-a-jar shadow of your former self. The truth is, I can't stand seeing someone I admire reduced to such a pathetic existence. So I've decided to put an end to your suffering. <laughs> Wait, what are you... No, what, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, no foot goons. Where did they all go? I don't like it. Keep your eyes open. You think they're in the ship? Only one way to find out. Nothing in here of any value to the Shredder. <laughs> Nothing except us turtles! size, because the ears ain't listening. Raf, wait! Let's hear her out. She helped us last time, remember? And she tried to kill you the time before that, remember? I apologize for the elaborate setup, but I knew of no other way to contact you. I need your help. I have limbs! Ha! Powerful limbs! I figured you'll need them to survive the big mission. Ah, yes, the mission. Pity you'll miss out on the maiden voyage of this incredible vessel you designed and built with your own two hands. Not to mention witness firsthand as an entire city crashes down from the stratosphere! Man, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Of course, you could decide to go behind the Shredder's back and join us, but that would be wrong, wouldn't it? Hey, what the boss doesn't know won't hurt him, right? True. And naturally, I would assume full responsibility for your well-being throughout the entire mission. After all, we wouldn't want you to fall victim to some unfortunate accident. 
And so if they remove the anti-grab generator, they will be sending millions to their doom. I need you to prevent this from happening. So does this mean you finally come to your senses and turned your back on the Shredder? I am duty-bound to serve the Shredder as always. I just do not wish to see millions suffer. Even if we agree to help you, what's to stop the Shredder from coming back for the anti-grab generator the next time? It's not like we can shut it down. Actually, I might be able to provide some assistance regarding that particular technical conundrum. Whoa! I must be hearing things! That sounded like Professor Honeycutt! Hello? It is Professor Honeycutt! Professor, you're alive! No way! It can't be! We saw you sacrifice yourself! You saved the world! Oh dear, I'm afraid I don't remember any of that. The last thing I recall, I was on a rooftop with Donatello, broadcasting a signal to make me invisible to the Triceratons. What I didn't tell you is that I also uploaded a backup of my memory core into the satellite communications network, set to contact you in the event of my destruction, which I'm assuming must have happened. So you were the one making those calls to my shell cell. And the download? That was you sending your memory core into my palm top. Well, most of it. Your hard drive was lacking capacity, so I had to forego some non-essential information. Who cares, Professor? I'm just so happy to see you! I'm sorry. Do I know you? Michelangelo! Mikey? The Mikester? Wait, so I'm non-essential information? Anyway, I couldn't help overhearing your dilemma, Miss... Karai. With my knowledge of Triceraton technology, I should be able to assume control of the anti-grav generator and gently lower the city of Beijing back to Earth. In theory. Saving millions of lives in the process. That's brilliant, Professor. So am I to assume we have a deal? Deal. Okay, now how do we get into Beijing? Leave that to me. What's in the crate, Karai? And why are you suddenly joining this mission? That is none of your concern. <sighs> what exactly is all this? Uh, uh, uh. That'd spoil the surprise. Beijing. About time. I really gotta go to the little turtle's room. Activating force field override. I knew you were up to something. Oops. Happy landing, Karai. <laughs> Shouldn't have trusted Karai! We can argue later! Everybody brace! Huh? Ah! Huh? Leo! What are you waiting for? Deploy! Gotcha! We made it! Of course. Now land, Leonardo. We have much work to do. We're just about to touch down in Tiananmen Square. Where's Karai? She got bumped from the mission. Apparently she had a little falling out with the organization. Oh, what if 
halfway down Jin Long. <gasps> hey, what was with the instant skydiving lesson? It was an unforeseen event. But I have my suspicions as to who is responsible. You know what your problem is, lady? You can't decide whether you want to help us or kill us. Make up your mind already. Not now, Raph. We're miles off target and we need to get to Tiananmen Square. Hey, guys. How about this? Low tech, but effective. Hop on, Karai. Karai? Great. Nobody warned us we'd have a welcoming committee to contend with. No sweat, Doc. Time to unleash my surprise. Mousers version 2.0. I took your basic concept and gave him a little upgrade. Cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> upgrade? More like a side grade. Go! 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 Ready to work your magic, Professor? What? How on earth did those meddlesome reptiles get here? I've got this one, Dr. Stockman. Mousers, attack! Funny, Karai never mentioned anything about overgrown mousers! Nothing fancy, guys. Just clear a path for Don and the Professor. <laughs> 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 Commencing shutdown sequence. Get ready to haul me up when this baby rips free from the pavement. <laughs> You're too late, green guy. What? What the shell? That's not supposed to happen. Not all we're gonna ditch, my boy. Way too much free fall for one day. Showtime, Professor. Now, a carefully regulated surge in the anti-gravity flux capacitor should gradually decrease the descent at a rate of 12.6 Thraxors per trigon. <laughs> yes! Back on solid ground! Unfortunately, so are they! <laughs> Holding up. I'm afraid I'll have to divert power from the atmospheric shield. Although the wind resistance may actually work in our favor. As if we didn't have enough problems. About time you showed up. I could ill afford to be seen coming to your aid earlier. If the Shredder were to find out. Enough talk. Let's do it. Yeehaw! Get her off, little mouser! The 
city's almost back on terra firma. Walk away from the Shredder, Karai. You know I cannot do that. This is the perfect opportunity. They think you're dead. You can disappear. We can help you start a new life. Could you so easily turn your back on your father? Even if you knew the things he did were wrong. Hmm. What are you looking at? Isn't the Forbidden City supposed to be... North of here? And isn't the sun supposed to rise in the east? Oh dear. Did I set the city down facing the wrong direction? The Master will be disappointed that we came back empty-handed. Not to mention the unfortunate demise of Karai and young Dr. Chaplin. We'll blame it all on them. Just follow my lead. Master, we have unfortunate news. Karai and Dr. Chaplin are- Wait. Perhaps you would like to share your news with Karai and Dr. Chaplin. Hi, Dr. Stockman. Everything's okay. We made it. B -b 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 Sir, w -w we can explain. <laughs> It's really quite simple to understand. The longitudinal span of the other eight planets, the Moon and the Sun, collimate within a geocentric sector of 14 degrees to form a grand planetary alignment with Earth. Say this grapefruit is the Sun, right? And the Earth is the third donut from the... Hey, what happened to Earth? <laughs> what? Shell planes. But Don... None of this should have an effect on the Earth, right? Yeah. Astronomically speaking, the planets are just too far apart to exhibit any additional gravitational pull. Oh! And that was just a random earthquake, right? <laughs> right? Maybe there's something in the news about it. A live feed from the university's seismograph rating it at 7.8 on the Richter scale. Closest estimates put the epicenter a thousand miles south of Greenland. Scientists believe that with the current shifting of tectonic plates, we may be witnessing the birth of a new island, or even a subcontinent. With displacement of water so massive, it's dangerously raising the sea level. Unstable temperatures have prompted violent thunderstorms due to reach the eastern seaboard within the hour. It doesn't make any sense. There must be something else at work here. Uh, I told you we should have listened to that guy carrying the end is near sign. Zones, including power outages. No way! Oh, great. Think the whole city is out? Huh? Hey, guys, check it out. Impossible. This crystal was completely burnt out. It's not now. It seems to be supercharged. How? I don't know. It might have something to do with the alignment, or... What? It's Pluto. Who cares about Pluto? Or it might have something to do with the crystal moon in the underground city. We'd better check it out. And remember, Donnie, you promised I could drive! All right. Just try not to grind the gears. Sorry. 
Sorry. Okay, I'd suggest everyone strap in. We've dug out these tunnels already, remember? wrong with this picture? Whoa! This sure ain't the way we left it. Yeah, this joint is jumping! It's as if the entire city has somehow come back to life. And do you hear that? Some kind of chanting. So, they have returned. You think there's a connection between what's happening down here and what's going on up top? Let's find out. Uh, excuse me, could you please tell us? Hey! It's like they don't even see us. They see us. They just don't care. Well, it looks like somebody cares! Myself, that very same question. Oh, not this guy again! You should not have returned. That's exactly what I told them. But would they listen? No! We wouldn't have come back down here. But whatever is powering the crystals is wreaking havoc on our world. I don't know what you're up to, buddy, but you better knock it off or. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 let him go! Or you will what? Pathetic creatures. This is far beyond your control. After 10,000 years, a new day is dawning for my people. The Elintians shall rule once more. Your people? You told us you were the sole survivor of your kind. That you were peace-loving. Why all the lies? At the time, I had limited power. I needed your help to maintain my city. So I said what I had to. I don't understand. What is it you Elinthians are trying to do? Reshape the world the way it used to be. We won't stand by and let this happen. It is already happening. 
There is nothing you can do. You shall be the first slaves of the New World Order. <laughs> me if you want to live. I want to live? How about you guys? You want to live? Anything's better than sitting locked up in here. All right, let's go. But be ready for anything. So who are you and why are you helping us? Yeah. Aren't you one of them? All will be revealed. Follow me. My name is Versalia. I am an Alintian, but I am not like the others. We must stop them. Stop them? We don't even know how they're doing what they're doing. Then you will learn. Here, in the Chamber of Chronicles, you will see the truth of the past. I don't know. Last movie we saw down here turned out to be a pack of lies. Please, attend. We were of a different age. A time long ago, when Olympians held unassailable dominion over the Earth. We were the first, the chosen. The heavens bestowed upon us power beyond imagining in the form of mighty crystals from the stars. The largest of these, the Sun Crystal, came to rest high upon Mount Timaeus, overlooking the entire continent. As a final gift from the heavens, the planets aligned and empowered our Sun Crystal, charging it with unbelievable energy. Crystal energy which we harnessed to build the largest, most splendid civilization on Earth. But we Elintians had advanced so far, so fast, we began to believe ourselves superior to all others. We enslaved many innocent humans, and when they could not perform the jobs we imposed upon them, the limitless power of our crystal sun was used to mutate them into creatures better suited to serve our selfish needs. Water breathers to bring us the bounty of the sea. Monstrous beasts of burden to raise our monuments and dig our canals. And avians to patrol the skies, preventing certain Elantians from escaping. Elantians who, like me, detested the dark ways of our own people. And then, an uprising. The human cultures banded together and launched an attack upon our home. The Elantians were taken by surprise. The High Council gathered in the Star Chamber to take retaliatory action. And the slaves were ordered to turn the power of our Crystal Sun into the most devastating of weapons. But many slaves were allied with the human forces, determined to put an end to their cruel Elintian taskmasters. The power of our crystal sun was turned back upon itself with catastrophic consequences. And the fabled island of Elintius sank beneath the waves. Wait a minute! The fabled island of Elintius? You mean Elintius is really Atlantis? Of course! Why didn't I get it before? You guys are from the lost city of Atlantis. Unbelievable. Yes, we may be all that remains of the once great civilization. A few of us managed to escape destruction and took a fragment of the Sun Crystal. Though its power was hugely diminished, it was enough to give life to a vast underground refuge. Now named the Crystal Moon, this smaller power source ultimately began to weaken. 
And without slaves, the Elantians found they were ill-equipped to survive on their own. So they chose to go into crystal suspension until the next planetary alignment could recharge the moon crystal. Only one remained awake. The High Mage. It was his task to watch over the city until the crystal moon could be recharged. And now, all has been fulfilled as foreseen by the High Council. The alignment has come to pass. The crystal moon is recharged, and the High Council are using it to raise our ancient city from the sea. And, with a sudden geologic change on such a massive scale, continents will shift and sink. Most of the human race will be wiped out. It'll be the end of the world as we know it. Then we gotta stop them! Maybe we can take a page from Elintian history and sabotage the crystal power source just like the slaves did. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. I can get a prism large enough to interfere with the energy beam, but we will have to gain access to the star chamber. It will not be easy. Especially if more of those lava monsters are around. This Elintian armor will protect you from the lava wraiths. If you dislodge the fire crystals from within their bodies using these staffs, the lava monsters will disintegrate. Good. It's time for a little payback. Those goons melted my side. Suit up, boys. <laughs> This will enable you to disrupt the crystal energy flow. Right, thanks. Okay, we all clear on the plan? Be careful. Alrighty then. Turtle armor force, move out! Huh. So far, so... Bad! Whoa! Okay. Now where's that crystal heart of yours? At least we know the armor works. Now let's give the staff another try. Wow, Elintian battle armor. Don't storm the star chamber without it. Hey, Raf. What? Does my butt look big in this outfit? Mikey? Centuries have failed. Maintain your focus. The island must continue to rise. I will deal with the intruders. Roll out the welcome mat and break out the bone china! You got company! You dare desecrate the star chamber? <laughs> Fools! You are no match for my power. 
We know. That's why we're not here to fight you. Yeah, we're here to distract you. Your crazy ritual is wreaking havoc across the globe, but it stops now. No! Yes! You have done it, but come, we must flee the city. Call, but we did it. The world is safe, but but I've lost everything I've ever known. <laughs> Where will you go, Rosalia? I have heard long ago of other underground cities where Elantians like myself fled the Dark Empire. I hope to find them. Well, if you ever get topside, look us up. Farewell, my friends. Safe journey. Come on, let's get the tunneler and get out of here. And Mikey, you are not driving. Let me drive is the least you could do for dragging me back down here to Creepy Cavern. Ah, suck it up, Mikey. And look at the bright side. We'll never have to come back down here ever again. Yeah, that's what you said the last time. And the time before that. And the time before that. And the time before that! And the time before that! Ow! I totally hate dusting! All I did was accidentally reverse the evolution on a planet of gross giant worms, and I get six weeks dusting duty! This is so completely harsh! <sighs> I didn't become an apprentice timestress for this. Hmm, maybe there's something good on the orb of hindsight. No, boring. Hmm, this looks good. The Lord of Time thinks he can banish me to this prison of the past. But I still have power. Even though I cannot leave this place, I will lure the sacred sands of the Time Scepter to me. Then I will have my revenge. <laughs> I will draw the scepter here with the spell of summoning. <laughs> Ew, ick. Stupid orb of hindsight. There's never anything good on. <laughs> That's better. They look like they're having fun. A lot more fun than I'm having right now. Oh, wow. The time scepter. I forgot it was even here! Wait a sec. Lord Simultaneous said I was grounded for six cycles, right? So, all I gotta do is use the Time Scepter to move myself ahead in time six cycles, and I'll be like, done! Sweet! I'll just... Attention! The Time Scepter has been disturbed. <gasps> I am so busted! If Lord Simultaneous catches me, I am so dead, it's not even funny! Brendan! Scepter! Get me out of here! Destination. Somewhere, anywhere but here. I don't know. Wait! With them! There! I mean then! Just, just hurry up! <laughs> it's time for your bath, Mikey! Hey! No fair! I took a bath last week! Ah! <laughs> oh! Uh-oh! Time for your bath now, Leo! Hey! Ah! What is that? Oh. Oh. that wasn't any fun. Like, it really hurt my hiney. Well, excuse the shell out of me. 
<laughs> my skull's not having a picnic either. Oh, I'm totally sorry. Are you guys okay? Let me guess. You're not from around here, are you? Well, duh. I'm from the 79th dimension of Null Time. Obviously. Uh, obviously. And your name is? Oh, right! I'm really bad at introductions. Hi, I'm Renette, Apprentice Timestress. This is the Time Scepter. It brought me here. Um, so why did you pop out of wherever and land on us? I was bored, and you guys were in the Orb of Hindsight, and it looked like you were having fun. Orb of Hindsight? Totally! It shows times where eggs happen. Eggs? Like omelets? No, silly! E-G-S! Events of great significance. Sometimes it's a bummer because everyone is, like, about to be horribly destroyed and stuff, but you guys seem okay. Horribly destroyed and stuff? Is it just me, or are you guys getting a feeling of impending doom? Renette! <laughs> Renette! Oh, bummer! It's him! He's found me! You gotta help me! You gotta help me! Return what you have stolen! Guardian to me. <laughs> I have done it. I have summoned the time scepter here. Now my freedom shall be at hand. <sighs> you know, Renette. For a time stress or whatever, you really gotta work on your control. Oh, where the shell are we? I think the question is, when the shell are we? Let me check. No. No. Okay, here. We're in the year 1406. Somewhere in medieval Europe or someplace. 1406? And we're here because? I have no idea. It... It felt like... I don't know, something reached out and brought us here. The Time Scepter is very close. I can feel it. Soon it will be in my grasp. And power, beyond all time and space, will be mine. Dark warriors, arise and do my bidding. Scepter, let nothing stand in your way. Do something, you stupid thing! <laughs> hey, check it out! An extra shell! I like it! Take the scepter! Feast on their flesh! Attack! <laughs> No! My spell isn't strong enough! The Earth is reclaiming my Dark Warriors! Guys! Put them down hard enough and they stay down! They're warm food! Can I just 
just say... On my mark, Mikey. Now! I will not fail. The Time Scepter will be mine. happens to us. I mean, we were just minding our own business when wham, that time lady fell out of the sky right on top of us. Now we're stuck here. And we've got to go to that creepy looking place. It just doesn't seem fair. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Let's go save Renee. <laughs> Time is mine to command. <laughs> How'd you do that? I can just barely get it to work. I did manage some armor earlier, but that was kind of an accident. Hey, do I know you? You look kind of familiar. And ugly. Well, no offense, but you know, you really should try and do something about your skin. A little night cream, maybe. Or maybe Silence! I can't understand how Lord Simultaneous puts up with you, but I will soon put him out of that misery when I end his life. It was your master, Lord Simultaneous, that banished me here. Huh? And now, with the Time Scepter in my hands, I will be free to move through time and space to wreak my revenge upon your master! <laughs> What's gotten into you today? You act like I haven't fed you or something. Settle down! I command it! Mikey, lose the armor, will ya? I like it! It makes me feel all safe and protected! Alright, alright! Don't get your shells in a bunch! Ah, oh, I have some unexpected guests. Let's see if I can arrange a little welcoming party. Oh, now I take my armor off. Thanks, guys. Raphael! 
is Mutant Ninja Turtle Motel, where giant killer roaches check in, but they don't check out. Come on, let's keep moving. Uh, hey, sorcerer guy? Your pet is, like, really acting all weird and stuff. Ew, gross! Time and space are now mine to command! Somebody here call an exterminator? You got a heck of a bug problem out there! What? You dare! Ignorant fools! Are you okay? I am now. Pathetic warriors, you waste my time. I have revenge to seek, and a universe to conquer. Not if we have anything to say about it. Ah, but you don't. <laughs> Hey, nice swing! I'd say that counts as a home run, Renette. Huh? Ah, the Turtle Brothers. How, How glad, glad we are to see you again. Uh, do we know you? He knows us. And those voices sound really familiar. Yes, listen well to our voices. For it is the last thing you will ever hear! Ew! What is that thing? It's Draco! And the Daimyo's son! Merged together somehow! It can't be! You both got sucked into that dimensional rip thingy! Yes! Heartlessly pushed into a rift beyond time and space, where we drifted for an eternity. You remember, don't you, how you turtles could have saved us? But you let us go! Over thousands of millennia, our bodies combined into this horrific form! Our minds fusing in the endless isolation. Our hatred of you driving us, keeping us alive. Until we learned enough to free ourselves and came here. And how we suffered, pretending to serve this fool of a demon sorcerer. Only because he sought the Time Scepter. Only with it could we find and destroy you. Oh, enough of this noise! <laughs> Steel rusts, wood crumbles, time is the master! <laughs> and as for flesh, prepare to rot! You icky creep! <laughs> Meddlesome pest of a girl! You are no match for us! I'm not, but like, I know somebody who is! Lord Simultaneous! I'm really, like, sorry, but we could use your help! Well, it's about time! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <sighs> Lord Simultaneous, this is just not my day. Give me that, please, before you hurt yourself. Or the rest of the universe. Again. That's Lord Simultaneous? He should have quit when he was ahead. Get it? You may be the Lord of Time, but you shall not interrupt our vengeance. Quiet, you. You've caused me enough trouble for one eternity. As it is, I'll be sweeping up temporal spillage for a decade. And you, Savanti. You'd think that banishing you to 15th century Earth would have been enough. 
but no. Say bye-bye, Savanti. <laughs> See you later. What? Where am I? Oh, no. He didn't. Now, what to do with you? You cannot hold us. You cannot command us. We are not without power. We shall return. We shall have our revenge. Lord Simultaneous! That ugly creep just stole your time scepter! I wouldn't worry about it. The time scepter's a funny thing. Has a mind of its own sometimes. I'm not so sure that character knows what he's in for. As for you, young lady, we need to talk about your punishment. Please, Lord Simultaneous, I'm sorry! You must pay for your crimes. Six more weeks of dusting. Ugh, you are such a tyrant! Seven! No! Do you want to try for eight? Oh, no, your magnificence. Dusting? This was all about dusting? Now, let's set things right, shall we? Um, I'm glad we're home, but why do I always have to be on the bottom? Another piece of advanced technology salvaged from our alien visitors. Cuts through anything. Makes your katana look like a butter knife. What is this? Whoever you are, this is a secure channel. Mr. Oroku Saki, my name is Bishop. And I believe you know my guest, Karai. In exchange for the life of your operative here, I want all the alien technology you've been collecting. I have no idea what you're- Please. Knowledge is my business, Mr. Saki. And I know all about you. Believe me, Mr. Bishop. You know nothing about me. I know that you are a crime lord of some ancient Japanese tradition. I know that you've been using your vast, ill-gained fortune to finance restoration operations in New York City as a cover to obtain dangerous alien technology. I know that you have sent this lovely warrior princess, your adopted daughter, correct? To steal an alien microchip from the United States government. And I know that if you do not turn over your entire stockpile of alien hardware to me within the next 45 minutes, your feisty family member here is going to be neatly sliced into a supersized pile of julienne fries. 44 minutes and counting. Look at you. 
You poor, pathetic dog, laboring away like a dutiful prisoner. You'll do anything to please the Shredder. It's disgusting. Pathetic. Sir, I, I, I was just saying how therapeutic the work is. Truly cathartic. I will speak with Han. Right. I, I'll just get back to work. Master, I... Silence, Han. I have not come to hear you plead. You have failed me one time too many, and yet you have also been loyal beyond reproach. I have decided to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. Master, I will not fail. I swear it. Karai has been captured. You must find her and bring her back alive. Is there a problem? No. No, Master. We have data indicating Karai's last recorded location. Dr. Chaplin will provide you with special ordnance. Remember, Han, your life now depends on her life. It would be such a shame if something went wrong and Hun couldn't save Karai. <laughs> they think they can contain me with this idiotic harness. Now, establish a comlink and find the last location of the Shredder's little pet, Karai. Hmm. An abandoned warehouse in Brooklyn. Now, to broadcast on the most probable frequencies so that some old friends will be able to meet Hun there. <laughs> this is Hun. I am on my way to recover the device. What the heck? Once I obtain the technology I'm after, and we give it to the brilliant Dr. Baxter Stockman, we'll be able to hunt down the turtles and their rat master. There's nowhere they'll be able to hide. I'm on my way to Warehouse 51 in Brooklyn to make the pickup. Hunt out! Probably a trap. Probably, but we have to check it out. If it's for real, we have to stop him. Right about now, the turtles should be heading off to investigate. They're so pathetically predictable. And I am a genius! <laughs> Master, this should be the place. No front door, no back door, no problem. Knock, knock. Something tells me this is it, guys. I didn't expect an answer so soon. Gentlemen, we have a train to catch. Alright, hon. You want a technology to track us? Well, we're right here. I don't have time for this! Make time! How rude! Move it out. Yes, sir. No! Oh, no! 
not my ride! You won't get away so easily, Bishop. <laughs> Looks like those turtles ain't so useless after all. Man, I think my concussion's got a concussion. He's stealing my bike! Let's go! Hun stole my bike! Then he's wearing your helmet, Rat! Nasty! Excuse me, Master Saki. I set up the communication security system as you requested, and I found one unauthorized anomaly. Anomaly? Replay for me this anomaly. This is Hun. I am on my way to recover the device. Stockman. Captain, we have an incursion at base Gamma. I want full security coverage. Get the bird in the air. Sir, yes, sir. seem to be focused on something else. Maybe. But what? Karai, I can't tell you how many times I wish to see you exterminated. But now, my life depends depends on saving yours. Ah! I'll hand it to you. You're persistent. <laughs> but not exactly bright. Say goodbye. Yeah! <laughs> 
right, meathead. You wanna play? Now we play for real! So, what do we do? We let him take each other out! You're finished, and the lovely Karai is next! Karai's in trouble. At the very least, we have to get her out of there. Leo! Wrath! She's done the same for us! We're getting her out! You gotta be about the only guy I hate more than Hun. And that's saying a lot. And you owe me a new bite, fatso! This train car's amazing! Let's stay focused, Donnie. Fascinating. I've never seen anything so... Time is of the essence, Donatello. Uh, right. Sorry. Leo! I can use a hand! Your turn! I need you to slice the upper ring. Now! I see you've decided to stretch your legs, my dear. Perhaps I will too! Samples from the last time we met have put my research ahead 50 years overnight. Ciao. Now that Karai is safe, I can finish you freaks as a little bonus for the Shredder. <laughs> She said thanks. Oh, I can't believe I lost my bike! Look on the bright side, Raph. You may have lost the shell cycle, but Donnie here gained a shiny new train car. Can I keep it, Leo? If you can figure out a way to get it home. My lord. Thank you for sending Han. He saved my life. I live to serve you, Master. Good. 
You live as long as you succeed. Did you retrieve the microchip, Karai? No, my lord. But I did manage to get a detailed scan. We should be able to construct a prototype of our own. Which is obviously why I am here. You've finally seen the error of your ways and are going to let me do what I do best. No! <gasps> Dr. Chaplin will create the prototype for the microchip. That is why he is here. Huh? I want to speak with you about an unauthorized communication you made earlier today. I... I can explain everything. No! No! Fantastic! Incredible! Amazing! Ah, I love comics. You want to know why I love comics, Leo? I know you want to know. Come on, guess! Probably because of the superheroes! Ah! Focus, Leonardo! Ding, ding, ding! Give the sword-wielding Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle a prize! It's all about the superheroes. Superpowers, supervillains, super costumes! It's all just so amazingly perfect! Michelangelo, enough! Leonardo is training. You may join him as you seem to have too much free time on your hands. Um, I think I hear Donnie calling me. Coming, Donnie! <laughs> An earthquake? Not again! Earthquakes always mean something really bad in this city! Master Splinter, what's going on? We've seen that kind of energy before! Draco! And the Damio's son! This is what we told you about, Master Splinter. They merged somehow, combined together. All into one ugly package. We told you we would return. We told you we would have our revenge. Revenge this, whackbag! As if you could simply fight us. We control time and space. With Lord Simultaneous's Time Scepter, we are unbeatable! Someone quick! Grab the- Now we will have our vengeance! Leonardo, destroy him first! No, we agree. The rat first, then Nadamio, your father. Then Leonardo. They will all pay, all of them. Yes! All of them will learn the meaning of suffering beyond time and space. Uh, feels like someone used my head for a punching bag. Whoa! What happened? That Draco thing. Where is everybody? Huh? What the shell? This is crazy! I have to find the others! Do you require me? Ah! Who's there? Where are you? Where am I? Error, you are here. Where do you wish to go? Uh... Wherever my brothers are? <laughs> Come, super freaks! Nothing that lives can defeat the Terror Kinetics! We'll see about that, Armorga! Super Turtles, count it off! Rabbit Turtle! Shelectro! Gridax! Loboid! Let's take them, Turtle!
just about to ask you the same thing. Computer, freeze! What'd you do that for, Grid? I was just about to... Whoa. <laughs> uh, hey, guys! What happened? What's up with the superpowers? Where's Master Splinter? Where's that Draco Damio sun thingy? Is this part of the new Hazard Shell training program, Shelectro? I assure you, he's not part of any program of mine. I'm not a program. I'm Mikey. He's infiltrated the Shell of Justice. We better scan him. This could be a trick. Guys, that supervillain Slugfest was awesome! Are there any more supervillains? Do you have team-ups with other superheroes? Wait, do I have superpowers? Scanners show him to be normal. No superpowers, no flight, no ability to change. Just a normal Teenage Mutant Turtle. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Sparky! What was that? Hmm. There's a large amount of residual chronal energy in his cellular matrix. I don't think he's from this time period. Maybe not even this dimension. And he's still in flux. I believe it's trying to put him back where he belongs. By sending me back home? Possibly. Or our dimension could be simply trying to erase you. So, if I'm not from here, then... You guys aren't my brothers. My real brothers. And that means my brothers are still back in my world. Fighting! I've got to get home! I've got to help my brothers and Master Splinter! How do I get home? Well, how did you get here? It was Draco! And the Damio's son! He's this kind of ultimate ninja. They got merged together into some kind of ultimate Draco after I won the Battle Nexus Championship! Okay, uh... I don't think we have an ultimate Draco in our files. Perhaps he has an analog in this universe. Shellatron 1000! I am at your service, Super Turtles. That is so great! Donnie would love this! I mean, the Donnie from my world. Obviously, your Donnie loves it already. Which kind of brings up a question that's been bugging me. If you guys are me and my bros in this dimension, then which one of you is me? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not me. Maybe we should focus on the matters at hand. And where's your Master Splinter? You know, Wise Rat, Walking Stick. You should have one of those. <sighs> we did, a long time ago. But he's... Uh... He's... We lost him. Oh. I'm sorry. I... Poor Sensei. Look, we need to stay focused here. Shellatron! Was it the Transmogrifier? No, but that guy looks wicked! But Ultimate Draco's kind of more... mangled looking. What about the Brainstone? He could harness that kind of energy. No, no, no. Maybe I could draw a picture or something. Are we under super attack? Super Turtles, Megatropolis needs you. A doomsday device is set to go off in less than one hour. <gasps> At that time, all life on Earth will be exterminated. You've got to hurry! April? Wow! This is so cool! Except for all life on Earth being exterminated. One, two, three, four! Turtles, I'll brief you as quickly as I can. Your arch nemesis has made his move. We're ready, Mayor O'Neill. Mayor O'Neill? That is so cool! Jones? Coming, your mayorship. Get it together, Jones. Time is of the essence. 
<laughs> no one is ever gonna believe this back home. Yo, Case, how's it going? World in danger. Time to kick some shell, right? Actually, sir, violence is rarely the answer. This is definitely a different dimension. The Sliver has returned. We obtained the schematics of the tower where the Sliver plans to unleash his Doomsday device. So, the Sliver's endgame has begun. Mayor O'Neill, the Super Turtles will stop him. This time, for good. That sounds pretty wicked. Can I come? It would be my first save the world from an evil supervillain mission. Whoa! It's happening again! I'm in flux! This is it! I'm going home! Thanks for everything! Wait till I tell the guys about this! Bye! Bye now! See ya! Uh, oh! Guess I'm staying. Turtles, the Sliver's Tower Fortress. Whoa! So, uh, how do we get in? We knock! Super Turtle style! the merchandise. According to the mayor's schematic, that panel should house the power grid that controls the perimeter defenses. Think you can handle it, Grid? Watch the master at work! Front door's open! Let's go! Hold up. That one's a dummy. We want the real entrance, up there. <laughs> Welcome, my sons. No! It... it can't be! Master Splinter? You guys told me he was... gone! No, we lost him. Lost him to evil. Sliver, we stopped being your sons a long time ago, evil one. Your madness ends here. Am I the mad one, Gravity Turtle? Behold the end and the beginning! The penultimate nullificator! That's a cool name! Uh, Comic Geek. Sorry. Sliver, not even you would be so insane as to activate the penultimate nullificator! It will destroy everything! Not quite everything, Bloboid. Thanks to my modifications, only life outside my tower will be exterminated. We are safe. We'll stop you, Sliver. I think not, my sons. For I know all your strengths and weaknesses. The cage is made of Utramidium. The only substance stronger than our powers. It's a barrier we can't pass. We're trapped. I should have seen this one coming. I mean, even Superman has his kryptonite. In time, my sons, you will learn to follow me once more. Together, we will rebuild the world and rule it. <laughs> Ultramidium drains our superpowers. Ultramidium, stupid comic book weakness. Wait a minute. We can't break out of this Ultramidium jail cell, but maybe we can get the sliver to let us out. Um, excuse me, Master Splinter? Uh, I mean, the sliver? 
I was wondering if I could talk to you, in private. I'm not really with these other guys. Master, uh, Sliver, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm not from this dimension. Where I come from, you and me and my bros, we rule the world! Another dimension? Yeah, there we don't think like these chumps. I'm loyal to you, to Master Splinter, the uh, Sliver, my father. How I have longed for my sons at my side. Tell me more. Destruction good, humanity bad. Wipe them all out, I say. Start over. That's what we did in our dimension. That's why I've come here to help you. You would fight beside me? Sliver? No turtle would ever help you! Your idea actually worked, Ninja Boy! Can you believe it? Now! Someone grab the nullificator! I think not! Insolent whelps! You waste my time with this pointless exercise when you know my victory is inevitable! You guys could have told me the sliver has superpowers too! You were always slow learners. Maybe we just had the wrong teacher! Whoa! Predictable as always, Neophyte. Let me give you a hand. Now I have one final lesson to teach you. Not so fast. It's about time you learned a thing or two, teacher. Like, the Super Turtles never give up. Remember, child, I taught you everything you know about your powers. <laughs> But not everything I know! And what are you going to do? No powers, no hope! I may not have superpowers, but I'm more than enough ninja to take you down! To touch me? Get used to it, master! <laughs> Fool! You cannot defeat me! I am... What? <laughs> you still lose! Ninja, the nullificator will still cleanse the world! Oh no! Not now! How do I stop the nullificator? Why would I design a way to stop it? It is justice. It is destiny. It cannot be stopped. But we are safe within my tower. We shall endure! I can stop it. I'll fly it up into the stratosphere. But it'll take you with it! No! There's got to be another way! The Sliver said he modified the thing so it would only work outside the tower! What if we switched it so it only worked inside? That just might work! I can reprogram it electronically! That's it! You did it! Now, let's get out of here! Sorry, guys! Looks like I'm already on my way out of this world! If they write a comic about this, make sure they call me the Turtle Titans! No! He was a stranger from a strange land. And yet, Michelangelo, AKA the Turtle Titan was one of us, truly our brother in arms and in spirit. There, that ought to lighten the load. 
That's a die-cast aluminum frame. It's already light. Well, now it's 18 ounces lighter, giving this shell cycle a definite edge. You're dreaming. After I tweak the throttle response on this baby, you'll be spitting its dust for a week. Not after I tighten the shift linkage. Not after I modify the compression ratio by 3%. Hmm, compression ratio. Good idea. What the shell? Casey, stay here! Master Splinter, what's going on? We've seen that kind of energy before. Recall. And the Damyo Sun. This is what we told you about, Master Splinter. They merged somehow, combined together. All into one ugly package. We told you we would return. We told you we would have our revenge! Revenge this, whackbag! As if you could simply fight us! We control time and space! With Lord Simultaneous' time scepter, we are unbeatable! Someone quick! Grab the... Now we will have our vengeance! Leonardo, destroy him first! No, we agree. The rat first, then the Davio, your father. Then Leonardo. They will all pay. All of them. Yes, all of them will learn the meaning of suffering beyond time and space. That Draco Ninja Freak. He had the Time Scepter and. And where'd that bozo send me? Huh? What the? Falcon! Someone's on the track! Oh! Big idea! Can't you see I'm walking here? Huh? Hey, you guys okay? Uh, not for long. Uh oh! I take it these aren't friends of yours. We gotta get out of here. Can you ride? Can I ride? Hang on, cause we are gonna... Uh, well, let's see. Okay, I give up. How the shell do you start this thing?
Rub it in, why don't you? And these servos, they burn out. That's not good for impellers. They crack. All need to be replaced. Lower subframe too, very bent. Can you get the bike back on its wheels by the next race? Yeah, all right, but it's gonna be tight. I'm sorry to break this to you, Falcon, but I'm bringing in another team to replace you. Team Fitz is out. Commissioner Mori, you cannot disqualify us. You can't ride without a navigator. But it wasn't our fault. Let it go, Falcon. It's just a charity race. It doesn't count toward the championship. No, I'm finishing this race even if I have to navigate the bike myself. Ha! Then who would be your pilot? Mmm... Him! Me? Him? Him? Trust me, he can ride. He's got the balance of a messy machine. Your people, Methania, it's amazing. It's against the rules, but since this isn't an official USPRA race, I'll make an exception. Look, I'm sorry you beefed it on account of me, but I can't stick around. My brothers and Master Splinter are probably in trouble. I gotta find a way back home. I know, I know. You told me. You don't even know how you got here. But now that you jammed me up, you think you're just gonna bail? I'm really sorry, but I gotta get home. Wait, Raphael. Maybe we can help you. My uncle is the premier subspace temporal mechanics theorist in this sector. If there's a way to get you back, he'll figure it out. We'll take you to him. After the race. Okay. Deal. Count me in. Good morning, all beings and forms. This is Nami Blow bringing you day two, live from the crew frozen wastes of the Tora Force. The drop-off is complete. Racers moving to the starting grid. As for us, we'll be relocating to the finish line. Gonna beep it again, Falcon? <laughs> hey! Friends of yours? That's Tripper Nitro and Jag Majori of Team Koyashata. Watch out for them. They don't play nice. The flag is up. They wait for the signal. And... They're off! What? I got a caution icon already. 40 foot drop into the ice tunnels. Good. I gotta make up for that lousy stock. We got another caution. There's subterranean life down here. What kind? Worms. What? Worms, Commissioner? Just how big are these worms? Well, they dug those tunnels, that's all I know. We've got to stop the race! Absolutely not! Ratings are up because this is the most hostile planet we've ever raced. A little danger never hurt anybody. Sounds like you're hoping someone gets hurt. Never! But make sure your race camps keep up with the action, just in case. ourselves! Whoa! Massive worm alert! That thing just ate one of our race cams! And it's not looking good for Team Fitz and Koyashada, who <gasps> better get their bikes in gear fast! Give us a hand! Okay, think fast. 
think fast. There's a trap door when you need it. That's it. Get on. Way to race, Raph. Uh, Raph? Whoa! What was that? No, no, double the marketing. I want tomorrow's race heavily promoted. If you think today is intense, we're gonna send the ratings through the roof. The ad money is gonna flood in. Ahem. What exactly is going on here, Commissioner? Something bothering you, Methania? Giant ice worms? That was a surprise to me as well. But everyone was aware this was a harsh planet. And I have your signed waivers to prove it. Now move aside. I'm sure the race council would like to know you're turning this event into a death match. Be careful what you say, Methania. You might hurt my feelings. And don't forget, you need my approval if you ever want to race again. Gyros on high prep. We got some maneuvering to do. You got it. We'll be out of the glacier in five seconds. Better pick up speed. Why? There's a bit of a jump. Full throttle wrap. Already on it. Relieved to know we picked up signals from both teams Koyashara and Fitz. They're on the move, though Falcon is way off course. At least they're okay, Amethania. Eh, yes. Say, uh, Nobby, we've known each other a long time. Please tell me the truth. What is the commissioner up to? What I know and what I can prove are two different things, Methania. I think there's a way to get proof, but I'll need your help. Raph? Uh, 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 this ain't good! It's like I'm fading away! We're drifting! Get control! I, I can't! I can't grab hold of the boss! Look out! Ah! same feeling I had when I got here, like, like I was being pulled out of something. Oh, you can't abandon me now. We're in the middle of a race. Hey, it's not like I have any control over it. Racing good, track not so good. Nice that you live, though. Uh, thanks, Muck. Better check her over top to bottom. She went through a lot. You think? Yeah, all right. Good evening, all beings and forms! And welcome to the third and final race of this Planet Racers charity event! Coming to you live from the moonlit rainforests of the Tora 4! And there's the drop-off! With sinking sludge pits waiting for them, the last thing these racers need to worry about is the mysterious Mud Riders! Who I hear are cannibals! Good thing Commissioner Mori has somehow convinced them to allow us passage through their land! The flag is up, and they're off! A cautionary ahead. 
Zero visibility through the sludge pits. Zero visibility? <laughs> Instruments only. I'm raising the chassis. Just crank the speed up. We'll make it. on the action, but out of sight. Race Cam 2 online. And ready to go live, Methania. Commissioner, Commissioner Mori. And now let's go live to Race Commissioner Tangent Mori for a few comments. Why are the Mud Riders attacking the racers? How should I know? They gave us permission to race through there. No, they didn't. I checked. <sighs> Their response was no, and they threatened retaliation for anyone who dares to invade their forest. Where did you get that? You sent our riders out there knowing they probably wouldn't survive? Well, look at it this way. They're giving their lives for a good cause. What cause? Your ratings? Those ratings are gonna keep planet racing going for a long time, sweetheart. So we lose a few races. Big deal. They're a dime a dozen. I'll get more and... Huh? What? The race cam. Um, clearly the mud riders are acting like savages, having changed their minds and attacking our races. I promise to personally look into it. And I imagine the race council will be looking into Commissioner Mori's planet racing ethics. But right now, let's check back in on our embattled racers. So how we doing, Falcon? Hustle it, Nitro's gaining. at the finish line, losers! <laughs> you were warned, but still you trespass on our lands, Outworlder! Now you will pay! We have to help them! Forget it, you got a short memory! They left us for worm food, remember? <laughs> Get back here! What about the race? Get to your bike! Now! You don't have to tell me twice! Why is he helping us? Who cares? We got a race to win! Nitro's taking the lead. You're a fool, Raphael. It was the honorable thing to do. There's no room for honor in racing. Winning without honor is not winning. Jeez, you sound like Leo. The finish line is just beyond the forest. First one through that gap cinches the lead. Partner. Hey! It's it's happening again. It, it's pulling me away from here. Uh, Raph, listen. Just remember that if you do nothing else in your life, you were once a planet racer. Not everyone can say that. And you remember. Race with honor. I'll remember, Raph. Winning without honor? That's just not winning. to believe you actually traveled through time like that. I know, April. It's wild, isn't it? But it really was the year 1406, and we were there. All because of the Time Scepter. 
Well, anything's possible. I think Uncle Augie's artifact taught me that. I know. I was going over some of your uncle's calculations, and... I think we're having an earthquake! Nothing's happening over here. Master Splinter, what's going on? We've seen that kind of energy before. Recall! And the Daimyo Sun! This is what we told you about, Master Splinter. They merged somehow, combined together. All into one ugly package. We told you we would return. We told you we would have our revenge. Revenge this, whackbag! As if you could simply fight us. We control time and space. With Lord Simultaneous's Time Scepter, we are unbeatable! Someone quick! Grab the- Now we will have our vengeance! Leonardo, destroy him first! No, we agree. The Rat first, then the Damio, your father. Then Leonardo. They will all pay, all of them! Yes! All of them will learn the meaning of suffering beyond time and space! Huh? Master Splinter? Master Splinter? Leo? Raph? Mikey? Anybody? The entire lair is trashed. Even the warehouse. Huh? The tunneler still looks like it's in one piece. But this place feels like it's been abandoned for a long time. None of this makes any sense. Attention, citizen! Place your hands in the air and drop your weapons! Repeat! Hands up and drop your weapons! Donatello. Thirty years? It can't be! Can be and is. We thought you were dead. How the shell could you just abandon us like that? I didn't. I'd never abandon you guys. One minute we were all in the lair together, the next minute I woke up here. I don't know how. So, the turtle with the big brain finally doesn't have all the answers. Who'd have thunk it? But we can't talk here. Come on! Serve the Shredder. He is 
your lord and master. Serve the Shredder and live. Where are we going, Mikey? I'm taking you to Master Splinter. Are Leo and Raph with him? You kidding? Leo and Raph aren't with anybody anymore. <gasps> Beware what you do. The Shredder is watching. Always watching. Where are all the people? You mean the ones that survived? They're forced to work 18-hour days in the Shredder's labor camps. No one's allowed out at night. What happened between Leo and Raph? Let's just say they got in a big fight a long time ago. What the, what the shell? When you never came back, Donnie, well, everything just fell apart. We were a team. Without you, it just didn't work. Guess we really needed that level head of yours. Master Splinter? He's over there. No! Master Splinter is... No! Master Yoshi used to bring him here to the park, back in the day. It's not the safest place, but it's where Sensei wanted to be buried. How? A couple years after you disappeared, Master Splinter gave his life protecting the three of us. I can't believe this place. It's all so horrible. You'll get used to it. Besides, what can you do? It's the way it is. It's not the way it was. Maybe I can't change the past, but that doesn't mean there isn't a way to change the present. We've got to face the Shredder and take him down. <laughs> we tried too many times. We're going to try again, Mikey. You got a plan? I'm working on it, but we're going to need Leo and Raph. That's a tall order, Donnie. But I think I know somebody that can help. Resistance Team 7, this is Ops. Proceed to target. Take this to Angel. Her commandos will have to destroy that fuel dump before it gets moved on Friday. Yes, sir! Yo, Rebel Leader. Look what the cat dragged in. April? Donatello, you came back. Splinter always said you would. Casey, too. Where is Case? That big bonehead. Well, well, well. Donatello. What the? <sighs> Looking younger than ever. And how do we look? Just another one of the Shredder's apropos punishments. Don't be impolite, hon. Say hello. Greetings, Donatello. Relax, Donnie. They're on our side. We saved them from being executed about five years back. This life is worse. I wish I'd been put out of my misery. And I wish that you had been put out of my misery, you miserable misanthrope. April, there's got to be a way to end all this. Can you get Leonardo and Raphael to meet me? I can try. My lord, I bring news. Speak, Karai. Our enforcers were involved in a skirmish near the Turtle's old lair. Sensors have identified the attacker. It is the Turtle Donatello. So... The prodigal son has returned. Excellent. I want Donatello's head brought before me, with or without his body. April's guys didn't say anything about you being here. 
Oh, what's the matter, Leo? I remind you how you made us abandon Master Splinter when he needed us most! It's what he wanted, Raph, to save us. If we had gone back there, we would have all been destroyed. We could have saved him! You know we couldn't! He was uh, gone! Uh, no! All right, Raph, I'm through talking. Let's settle this once and for all! What? Leo, Raph, we need to talk. Donnie? No way! Donatello, you're back. I don't believe it. Believe it. And Brainiac here wants to go up against the Shredder. We've already tried it, Donnie. How do you think we lost Casey? The Shredder's palace is surrounded by an army of foot police. And Dutraminators. And Karai Legions. You can't even get inside to fight him. And if you could, you couldn't beat him. The Shredder's new exosuit is stronger than ever. I should know. I designed it. It's impossible. Can't be done, Donnie. It's hopeless. I don't know what happened to you guys, but the Turtles I knew believed that nothing was ever hopeless. Please, we can do this! All right, Donnie. We'll do it one more time. But please, tell me we have a fighting chance. I've been working up a plan. Do we have any hardware? Exosuits? Anything? Well, we captured a Karai Legion bot that Dr. Stockman has been modifying. Good. That's a start. And there's something we'll need from the lair. The lair? It got wasted years ago. Not all of it. Master, the Utram slaves have finished building the transmat. It will be operational in two hours. Excellent. Who dares? Can the Shredder come out and play? So, the Turtles have reunited. It is 30 years overdue, but I will finally put an end to your pathetic lives! Shredder! Your reign of terror is over! Legions, attack! Destroy them all! For Master Splinter! Supposed to stay in the tunneler. Master, please take me back. What? I'll serve you. Please. Han, what are you doing? Exterminating you two traitors will be an added bonus to today's great victory. <gasps> oh, crud. Come on. We've got to buy Donnie a little more time. Keep the bots busy.
disgusting creature! I beg you, leave this place, or you will force me to do that which my duty commands. Not this time, Karai. This time you have to make a choice. Once and for all! I'm sorry, Karai. I never wanted it to be this way. Forgive me, Leonardo. Leo! No! Significant worm that you are! You always did claim victory before you actually won! This whole attack was to get you into position to do this! What? What is happening? No! I am the Shredder! a nightmare, Dawn. But you, Leo, Raph, and Mikey, you gave us back our future. April! It's happening again! Something's pulling me away! It's stronger this time! Donnie, remember, there's always hope, no matter what! Ah! And thank you. Falling rain, Kata. The way of harmonizing oneself in action. This is the spirit of Yado. <clears throat> the mind, body, spirit, and weapon working in harmony. Balance is all. I love comics. You want to know why I love comics, Leo? I know you want to know. Michelangelo, enough! Leonardo is training. You may join him, as you seem to have too much free time on your hands. Um, I think I hear Donnie calling me. Coming, Donnie! <gasps> I think we're having an earthquake! 
Master Splinter, what's going on? We've seen that kind of energy before. Rico! And the Damyo Sun! This is what we told you about, Master Splinter. They merged somehow, combined together. All into one ugly package. We told you we would return. We told you we would have our revenge. Revenge this, whackbag! As if you could simply fight us. We control time and space! With Lord Simultaneous' Time Scepter, we are unbeatable! Someone quick! Grab the- Now we will have our vengeance! Leonardo, destroy him first! No, we agree. The rat first, then Nadamio, your father. Then Leonardo. They will all pay. All of them. Yes! All of them will learn the meaning of suffering beyond time and space. Draco! Draco? Master Splinter? Guys? Draco appears in the lair, then the lair goes away. Or maybe I went away. This looks like feudal Japan. I have to find the others. Draco could be. Yay! Are you alright? You came out of nowhere and. Ninja scum! What? You won't have him! I don't care how many ninja clans come! Ninja clans? Have who? I think you should come! You will not live to see another sunrise! So swears Tomoe Ame! Stop! I don't want to fight you! <laughs> I'm not your enemy! Ninja deceit! Please, if you have any honor in you, Ninja, Spare my lord! Take me instead! I like to think of myself as honorable and a ninja. Forgive me. I am shamed by my actions. I mistook you for... Huh? huh? Lord Noriyuki! My lord! Who are you guys? He is Lord Noriyuki, head of the Geishu clan. I am his retainer, Tomoame. Wait! You don't by any chance know a samurai named... What is going on here? The Mogura Ninja have come for Lord Doriyuki! We must protect him! Don't go away, Ame! No! No! Welcome to my world, Leonardo-san. Your presence is as fortuitous as it is mysterious. Lord Noriyuki, I am pleased you are safe. Indeed. Thanks to this Kame ninja. Usagi, what just happened here? <coughs> ninja treachery. <laughs> no offense. Leonardo-san, Lord Noriyuki has been targeted for assassination by a rival, Lord Hebi. 
Hebi has decreed that whichever ninja clan eliminates Lord Noriyuki will win his favor. The attacks have been relentless. Only Tomoeame's skill and honor have saved her lord from the ninja. Tomoeame's sacrifice will not be in vain. Jen and I will escort Lord Noriyuki to the capital city of Edo. The Shogun is expecting him, and Hebi would not dare continue his attacks under the Shogun's watchful eye. And on the way, Leonardo, you can tell us how you came to be here. Then I woke up in that valley. Next thing I knew, I was fighting alongside Tomoeame against those Mogura ninja. Draco! I had hoped we had seen the last of him. I have to find Master Splinter and my brothers. And the Damio. Draco and the Ultimate Ninja both want revenge against the Damio. The Damio. Wait a minute! Usagi, the Damio's war staff can send me home. If I can get to the Battle Nexus, the Damio can open a doorway to my world. I think I can remember the chant that opens the doorway to the Nexus, but my brothers help me with the symbols. I know the ritual. I will help you in any way I can, as soon as Lord Noriyuki is under the Shogun's protection. The Geishu Lord should be on his knees before me, not this girl. My lord, we had Noriyuki, but there was interference. Usagi. Show yourself, Hebi! You will be very useful, Tomoyame. <laughs> oh yes, I know of you, and that you are dear to your lord, Noriyuki. Your presence will deliver Noriyuki right to me, as well as Miyamoto Usagi. Jizo! My lord. Your Neko clan will deliver a message to Miyamoto Usagi for me. And if this ninja from the Kame clan interferes, eliminate him. This is the way to Edo? It's a shortcut. Your shortcuts will be the end of us, Genosuke. Come, let us head back the way we came. It's an ambush! We're trapped! the ninja on the path to pull back, and the archers to move forward. What is this? <laughs> Cowards! I don't like this, guys. Something's up. There's only one way out, but it's somewhat wet. Wait, you're joking! I hate water! <laughs> we must keep moving. Those were Neko Clan Ninja. They will not give up so easily. Easily? You think that was... Easy? Quickly, before we are followed!
Tomoe Ame is alive! She is to be executed for crimes against Lord Heavy. No! We must rescue her! Lord Noriyuki, I may be a stranger in your world, but this is obviously a trap. Leonardo is correct. Your safety is paramount. Tomoe Ame would tell you the same thing. I do not care! I am Lord of the Geshu Clan! I am giving you an order! If you will not aid me, I will free her myself! Leonardo-san, your family needs you. I cannot ask you to- Of course I will help you, Usagi. What are friends for? We should be in Edo. This is impossible. There are too many. No samurai can fight his way through that. Well, get paid enough to try. We might not have to. If we can't fight the ninja, maybe we can join them. I guess doing laundry isn't a Neko ninja skill. Hmm. Ninja garb. I feel cloaked in dishonor. We will speak of this to no one. Heavy's castle gate is too well guarded. What now? More ninja treachery. So, uh, I don't suppose you're interested in a small wager on the outcome of this little adventure, hmm? Do you hear that? Jinosuke! Enter Lord Heavy's fortress. I am no ninja. I am samurai. Usagi, no! What are you doing here? Please tell me you didn't bring Lord Noriyuki here. Your lord is safe, Tomoe Ame. Please hurry. We have little time. Less time than you think, samurai. Reptiles a bad name. The Kami, you will pay for this affront. I hate to point this out, but you have no arms. This isn't going to be much of a fight. Ah! 
note to self. Arms are overrated. You do not fight alone, Leonardo-san. Nor do I, Ronin. Shogun's army outside. There is nowhere he can hide. My lord, I thought I'd never see you again. If you are to thank anyone, Tomoe Ame, then thank Usagi and Jen and Leonardo. Were it not for him, the Geishu clan would be destroyed. <laughs> you are an honorable warrior, Leonardo son. I am forever in your debt. Thank you, my friend. I'm done with adventures for today. I need food! And now, Leonardo, there is the matter of your predicament. ask you to come with me, Usagi. You do not have to ask my brother. I am going with you. As you say, what are friends for? We made it! A battle nexus! I assured you I would bring you to this honorable place. My sensei, Master Katsuichi, taught me the ritual for entering the realm of the Battle Nexus, and I have made this journey many times. Yet, no matter how many times I come to the Battle Nexus, it never ceases to amaze me with its grandeur. Just think of all the honorable warriors that fought in this arena over the years. But it is odd to find it so quiet. 
Of course, I have never been here when the Battle Nexus Championship was not in progress. Still, shouldn't there be guards or something? Hmm. My lord, it is Miyamoto Usagi. He has come to see you. So dark, no use. Surely you remember Usagi. And he has come with Leonardo, Hamato Splinter's pupil. Honored Damio, I have come to ask for your help. My family, my brothers and my father, Master Splinter, are in trouble. Please, Leonardo, continue. Tell the Damio everything. It was Draco and your son. They're still alive, if you can call it that. The two of them merged somehow, combined together to become one being. Sort of an ultimate Draco. He scattered us throughout time and space. And... and that's why I'm here. To ask you, most honored Damio, to please use your war staff to retrieve my brothers and my master. If you do, I will forever be in your debt. <laughs> you, Leonardo, would be in my debt. You would put yourself in my service. What would you do for me? Would you return to me, my son? My son that you took from me! My son that you and your friend there and your master and your vile brothers destroyed! I will help you. Yes, I will help you to learn the meaning of pain and loss as you rot in my dungeon! Guards, seize them! them in the dungeon forever! Samurai Leonardo-san. All this sneaking about. We have to steal the Damio's war staff. And we must help the Damio. Clearly he is under some kind of spell. At the very least, he is not himself. Double the watch on all levels. Check this wing and report in. Sent to relieve you. But our watch isn't over yet. It is now! <laughs> <laughs> Um. 
Leonardo. I don't want to hurt you, Gyoji, but we have to have the war staff. Shh. I wish to help you. Take the war staff and follow me. I have witnessed the malaise that has befallen my master. And I have heard your story, Master Leonardo. Something is not right. Something must be done. And I will help you do it. Use the staff. Concentrate on your missing father. Call him to you. The staff we do the rest. Master Splinter! Master Splinter, where are you? Where are you? Why, that is the dungeon in this very castle. Master Splinter! Master Splinter! No! Concentrate, Leonardo. <laughs> didn't work. What did I do wrong? I do not know. Perhaps you will have better luck summoning one of your brothers? Try again, Leonardo. Mayor O'Neill, the Super Turtles will stop him. That sounds pretty wicked. Can I come? Whoa! It's happening again! I'm in flux! This is it! I'm going home! Thanks for everything! Bye! Bye now! Uh, guess I'm staying. Perhaps your mind is unsettled in some way. Try again. You must concentrate harder, Leonardo. Oh, this ain't good. It's like I'm fading away. We're oh. drifting. Get control. I, I can't. I can't grab hold of the boss! Crap! Look out! Crap! Ah! No! You must try again, Leonardo. Try to save at least one of them. Beware what you do. The Shredder is watching. Always watching. Where are all the people? You mean the ones that survived? They're forced to work 18-hour days in the Shredder's labor camps. No one's allowed out at night. What the shell? I failed again. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I was so close, I could feel them. It is not your fault. Someone very powerful is blocking your attempts and is enjoying watching you suffer thus. What? Enjoying it very much. Relishing your pain and frustration. Taking pleasure from your absolute ignorance. <laughs> Usagi here is an extra gift to us. He shall rule the day he returned to my Battle Nexus. The Battle Nexus will never be yours, villain! Pathetic creatures! I command both the Damio's War Staff and Lord Simultaneous's Time Scepter! I am a god! Where has that fiend sent us? I don't know, but it can't be good. Usagi, I'm sorry I got you into this. Do not say such a thing, my brother. I stand by you no matter what happens. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Destroyed! Glorious! 
distractions. We, we must finish the Damyo once and for all. His reign is at an end. He shall suffer horribly as he perishes. Staff. He is no longer a threat. He is old and weak. We could let him live in exile. We haven't come this far to simply let the Tomyo live. He must suffer. He must pay. All must pay now. No! You shall not harm him. No more destruction. No more. Fool. Have you so soon forgotten who is master of his race? We hold the power. We command them. What? He has activated the war staff? No! I saw I saw. I saw I saw. Oh no! Not now! Sorry guys! Looks like I'm already on my way out of this world! If they write a comic about this, make sure they call me the Turtle Titans! Come to me, Come my son! Yes! Team Vince takes the cup in the USPRA's charity race event! <laughs> Way to win a race, partner. Hey, it's happening again. It's pulling me away from here. Uh, Raph, listen. Just remember that if you do nothing else in your life, you were once a planet racer. Not everyone can say that. And you remember, race with honor. With honor. My son. My brothers. My poor brothers. This world. This future, it's a nightmare. It was a nightmare, Dawn. But you, Leo, Raph, and Mikey, you gave us back our future. April, it's happening again! Something's pulling me away! It's stronger this time! Ah! You are needed now more than ever! My sons! My sons! My sons! What the shell? Mikey, Raph, you're young and alive. And Mikey, you have both arms. Good to see you too, Donnie. I think. What have you done, Raph? What have you done? Whoa, enough reunion. Master Splinter's in trouble. Come on. Obstinate rodent, let go. No, my war staff. My time scepter! No! 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 We have to keep the time scepter out of his hands! Yo, ugly! Looking for this? You fools! There is no way you can defeat us! You do not have the power to use the War Staff or the Time Scepter! Perhaps not, but you will never get your hands on them again! I swear it, I... What sorcery is this? Master Splitter? What's going on? I do not know! I... My son, hold on! They just keep coming, Usagi! Then we will just keep fighting, Leonardo! We're back. This should not. 
not be possible! You do not have the power! I don't understand! How could this be? No! No! Father? Father! Forgive me! I... My son? Did I hear my son? What is going on here? <laughs> Master Splinter! You're all right! You're all okay! Um, Sensei? What the shell just happened? How did we do that? I... I truly do not know. It's quite simple, really. It's like I told your sons here when I met them the last time. This time scepter has a mind of its own. It read everyone's thoughts, weighed good against evil, and set everything to right, with a little help from the war staff. <sighs> what a horrible mess. No one ever learns. I get so tired of cleaning up after megalomaniacs and madmen. No, no, my son, no. Let me show you the true and good powers of the Time Scepter, controlled by the right hands. My son, oh my son, do not cry. I too had a horrible nightmare, but it is over now. <laughs> it's all right. It's all going to be all right. And it's high time I put you all back where you belong. You've given me quite a headache flitting all over time in creation like that. Usagi, thank you. Leonardo, it is a great honor to be your friend. Until we meet again, Usagi-san. Farewell. Where the heck did you guys go? I've been looking for you for at least ten minutes. You guys been goofing on me? <laughs> Is this some kind of game like hide-and-seek or something? Yeah, something like that. Let's just say that it's good to be home. Victorious, but do we know why? Because shell we're good. <laughs> uh, sorry, Sensei. <clears throat> we have survived these many trials and tests by following the path of ninjutsu and by finding and using our inner strength. Yes, Leonardo. Only by focusing on our inner strength can we overcome our enemies. Michelangelo, where is your focus? Um, right over there, Sensei. In the pool. What the shell are those things? Ground Force to Night Sky, the packages have been delivered. Roger, Ground Force. Stand by. Proceed.
What is that noise? I can't think. It has to stop. Someone make it stop. Master Splinter! Don, what's the matter with him? It's these! The sound! I cannot block it out! We need to get him out of here! Now! Man, I'm hearing it up here, too! There seems to be some kind of sonic disruption throughout the entire city. And though it doesn't appear to bother humans, it's clearly targeted to other species. Like rats. Beginning sweep for mobile mutated genetic signatures. Right there, sir. Looks like our target. Intercept them. Night Sky to Ground Force. Operation Mousetrap is go. I repeat, Mousetrap is go. What the shell? What? We got missiles incoming! Wired, sir. What about the turtles? Neutralize, sir. Your orders? No survivors. Finish this. Master Splinter! They abducted him. I am sorry. I couldn't stop them. Luckily, the gas was non lethal. Which means whoever abducted your sensei wanted him alive. <sighs> Whoa! New threads, Professor Honeycutt? Yes. Though segments of my memory were purged, we recovered blueprints for my former Sal 1000 robot body. Although using Earth technology makes it seem rather homemade. I hope Master Splinter's all right. Well, at least we know who took him. Those were Bishop's flunky commandos. Now all we have to do is find them. But how? Wait a minute. We still have Bishop's subway car, at least half of it. Let's take this thing apart and find some answers. I can't seem to hack into this system. A lot of this seems to be Federation and Triceraton tech. As well as other alien technology that I am unable to classify. Your agent Bishop certainly gets around for an Earthling. Wait, there. An automatic recall layered into the train car subcircuitry. Hmm, if we reactivate it... The recall signal should be triggered. And, if we're on board, it'll take us right to Bishop's location. Good. You're awake. Master Splinter. Bishop! Welcome. 
Your unique genetic makeup has been very useful to me indeed. In fact, the mutated DNA I'm extracting from you even as we speak will help save all humanity. But you look confused. Allow me to explain. I work for the Earth Protection Force, a secret government organization assembled to face a mounting crisis. A crisis dating back to 1870, when President Grant created the EPF after the first extraterrestrials crashed here on Earth. Extraterrestrials. A crisis that continues to this day, as we've seen with the recent invasion of the savage Triceratons. I guarantee you, similar invasions will follow, and someone has to be there to stop them. That is the purpose of the EPF. My purpose. To create a new humanity. A new superior race born of enhanced DNA. DNA acquired from genetic manipulation, alien autopsies, and even stolen from your sons. But it was your mutated rat DNA, being so nearly human, that has allowed me to finally complete the process. And for that, I thank you. It lives! A new evolution of humankind! The Slayer! Not only are these future members of the Earth Protection Force, but they are the new humanity. These clones are awaiting final DNA sequencing. By cellular acceleration, I can give birth to an army within six hours, fully trained, thanks to my advances in biodata transference and your DNA. I've uploaded complex survival tactics into this prototype. What will you do with them? Mainstream them into the population, of course. We have aliens out there right now, living amongst us. My slayers will ferret them all out. What if innocent people get ferreted out instead? What if errors are made? Not my concern. I'm a bigger picture kind of guy. Besides, my calculations suggest that it would be beneficial if 57% of the Earth's population simply disappeared. Just think, my little lab rat. Your DNA will make it all possible. You're lucky you're such a unique organic specimen. You shall be preserved. Sir, the recall signal for car A13 has been activated. It's on its way in. Hmm. That train should have been destroyed. Prepare a suitable reception, just in case it's occupied. I'm impressed that you found me, but you won't be staying.
Master Splinter out of there! Absolutely. Handsome devil, if I do say so myself. Okay, now I'm officially freaked out! <laughs> oh, believe me, you ain't seen nothing yet. This just keeps getting better and better. Don't worry, Master Splinter. I'll have you out of that nasty biosuspension fluid in a jiffy. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. That was totally uncalled for. Step away from those controls, cyborg. No! Bishop, you will not succeed. Wrong. Neither you nor your little green brats can stop me. You don't understand. I've created life! Bishop, no one has the right to play God! I am taking the necessary steps to defend the world. It is my duty! The world has enough monsters. It does not need yours. Come out, come out, wherever you are, you ugly freak.
This is over, Bishop! <sighs> My plans are far from over, Rodent. You have no idea, no idea! nowhere in sight. We will see him again. Such men are hard to destroy. Attention, please. It is with heavy heart that I stand here today to say goodbye to one of the greatest men I've ever known. Oroku Saki, the man single-handedly responsible for restoring the great city of New York to its full glory, is leaving us. I would like you to put your hands together and show this fine man how much we are truly going to miss him. You are too kind. Thank you. As my good friend, the mayor, has just reminded us, this is a farewell dinner. My way of saying thank you and goodbye. Fortune has smiled on me in many ways. The opportunity to rectify certain matters at home has now presented itself, and I must go. In my absence, my lovely daughter Karai will handle all my business affairs. I assure you, she is more than capable. The city has been good to me. It is my adopted home. I hope someday to return. Please, enjoy your dinner, and let us make this a truly unforgettable evening. My daughter and I must tend to the details of my departure. Please, keep the guests entertained. I had my ticket here somewhere. I know it's here. I need to see some identification. Come on, man. The Vichy Sushis are gonna get cold. I need to see some identification now. Why are you busting my balloons here? These dishes gotta get in there. Do me a favor, just check the cart and take it in yourself, will ya? Hi there. Nice party. Oh, oh yeah. Like it wasn't crowded enough under here already. Quiet! Ow. You guys done or what? Casey, April, Raph, and Mikey are in. Leonardo, perhaps we should rethink this. It is very dangerous. 
I feel perhaps I should have... Please, Master Splinter, we've been over this. Which does not alter the fact that I have dragged you all into a very dangerous situation. All because of a vision I cannot even explain. I'll put my faith in one of your visions any day, Sensei. We all would. If the Shredder's up to something, we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll stop him. It's what you trained us to do. Shredder security is still hot. Team 3, what's your status? We're in place. Sewer access security is also still active. Team 2, what's your status? Don, ask the professor if a security camera wire will serve his purposes. Oh yes, that will do nicely. Link established. Give me a minute to hack the system. Gentlemen and lady, I am in. Security systems are down, and they don't even know it. Well, this is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Check with our man on the inside. I get the distinct feeling there's something he's not telling us. Yes, sir. Constructed. It appears to lead from the Shredder's mansion all the way to the river. At least the coast is clear. Oh, oh dear! Foot tech! They're cloaked! Suffice it to say, I'm glad I brought you along, Leatherhead. Let's move. <laughs> Guys, we're under the Shredder's mansion, and you know that really big thing that the Shredder is up to? I think I just found it. That's not a good thing? He will bring his evil to other worlds. He will attack our friends, the Ultroms. Millions will suffer at his hands. We'll just have to cancel his flight. How we doing, guys? This is team... Uh, team... Are we team three or four? Ow! We're in! And the place is crawling with foot creeps. Understood. Team two? Commence with Operation Lockdown. You heard him, Professor. Close Sesame. Dr. Chaplin reports that all Starship systems are nominal. Congratulations. Tonight will be your last night on Earth. After centuries of being imprisoned on this primitive backwater, I will finally return to the stars. When my Utram enemies return here to imprison me, I will be gone. And when they least expect it, I will be at their throats. And what of me, father? Karai, my time here was not a total loss. I have forged a powerful dynasty with the foot, and I have raised a daughter to rule that dynasty until my return. You will serve me as you have always served me, faithfully and without question. Now, see to our guests. This is a celebration, not a wake. Yes, Master. This is completely unacceptable. Why didn't you tell us Oroku Saki has a starship? You didn't ask. Sarcasm is no way to build a working relationship with me, Stockman. Relax, Agent Bishop. We have a deal. 
I'll keep my end of the bargain as long as you keep yours. Huh? <laughs> Must go. Bye now. I don't like it. Where's the guard at the front gate? Send someone to check it out. Sir, there's a glitch in the system. Something... I don't know what it is. Well, find out. The master can't have anything go wrong. Not tonight. All right. Taking complete control of the internal systems. Commencing internal lockdown now. <laughs> What the? Who ordered a lockdown? I don't know what Saki's up to, and I don't care. Rig this tunnel for demolition. I don't want to allow Saki any chance to move his ship. Planning a little trip? A little outer space mayhem, perhaps? Oh. Not if we have oh. anything to say about it. Your evil ends here and now, Shredder. I shall relish destroying This starship, it's... it's unbelievable. How could Saki have... Sir! Tunnel wired for demolition, sir! Then blow it. I'm not letting this ship slip through my fingers. Sure everything's all right? Mr. Mayor, honored guests, do not be alarmed. This is just my father's way of saying thank you and farewell. Very nice. Oh. No, 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 no! Ah, those crazy commandos! They've completely collapsed the transport tunnel! Bishop guy! He and his men blew up the transport tunnel! There's no way we're moving the starship to the river! Bishop? Here? That changes everything! Master! Han, control this situation. I need to get my ship to safety. He's making a break for it. Get him! Chaplain, prepare the ship. We must launch immediately. But, Mr. Saki, we can't move the ship. They destroyed the transport tunnel. Oh, no, you fool. Commence the emergency launch sequence! But... but all those people are on the emergency silo doors! Do it, Chaplain! Now! Opening emergency launch doors! I'll be right back with that, man. He's trying an emergency launch. What? How can I? Uh, huh? Bring in Strike Force Bravo. Shut this whole place down. This is Bravo One. Roger that, Commander. Nothing goes up, nothing gets out. This is Bravo Two. We have control on the ground, Commander.
might try the back door. That's why we're here. After them! Stop them! Wait, Leonardo, you must not do this. He is finally leaving our world. You must let him go. Let him go to destroy and enslave the Utrams? The Utrams have hunted my father all his life. They are heartless monsters. No, Karai, that's not true. He's lied to you. He's the heartless monster, and I'm gonna stop him. Leonardo, no! There's no way we're letting you get on that starship, Shredder! The two of you cannot stop me. <laughs> Together we will stop you! Step away from the master! Now! Huh? Well, 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 isn't this cozy? On my mark, destroy them all! Open fire! Shredder, you cannot be allowed to return to the stars, to wreak havoc on other planets, or to revenge yourself upon the Utram homeworld! What? How do you know of this? My father, Master Yoshi, was a guardian. He protected the Utrams. He forbids your journey. And in his name, I will not allow you passage! No! Go, Master! Get to the ship! Don't let it take off. Roger that. Fire in the hole. Way to go, Professor.
This is Bishop to all tracking outposts. Begin tracking. If I can't have that ship, neither can Saki. Shredder and pay our respects. Wait, we must rethink our priorities. This vessel represents the real threat. To allow the Shredder such mobility will put millions of lives in danger. I have sent urgent messages of warning to the Utrams, but I've received no response. I'm not sure I've gotten through. The Shredder must not return to the stars. We must gain control of this starship. <sighs> Mr. Saki? Uh, first of all, let me just say that I think it's wicked cool you're actually a squishy alien blob. Man, that is so out there. And secondly, you should know that, well, apparently Splinter and the Turtles have kind of hitched a ride. What? The Turtles and the Rat on board my ship? I will deal with them personally. I will not allow them to further interfere with my plans. What are our plans now, my lord? We were forced to launch early. Much of your equipment, your foot ninja, your elite forces, all were left behind. Yes, it is not as I had intended, but it will not stop me. I have allies on Tanella 5 waiting for my return. And it will be easy to find mercenaries willing to join me in pillaging the galaxy. I will build a new army and ultimately return to the Utram homeworld, where vengeance shall be mine! Agent Bishop, the Atlantic EPS system has locked onto Saki's starship. Fire at will. Another wrinkle! Multiple Rimfire missiles are on approach! What? I show at least eight hostiles on an intercept course. But no worries. We have Dr. Stockman's ingenious defense system on the job. Uh, no way! Mr. Saki! Uh, Our defense grid just went offline! Their defenses are down. Thank you, Dr. Stockman. Oh, believe me, Agent Bishop. It was my pleasure. Launch all remaining missiles. Blow that ship out of the sky. Bridge. Scotty, we need more power. <laughs> 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 
sorry. Four minutes and I will have complete control over the ship's propulsion. We don't have four minutes! Shredder! May my master Yoshi's sword taste vengeance today! You made a grave mistake following me here, rodent! Starship has moved out of range of terrestrial launch sites, but we now have satellite control, bringing weapon online. Fire at will. Oh no. No, 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 no! Karai, you go too far! Ah! You 
dishonor me with your insolence! What? Chaplin! What is happening up there? Chaplin! Dr. Chaplin, get this door open, now! Uh, okay, but it'll take a minute. I'll have to bypass the emergency uh, protocols. Those wacky missiles jammed the security overrides pretty darn good. But not to worry, big guy. We're still on course for the rendezvous at Tanella 5. Shred is trying to get back in. He'll finish us for sure. Gauss Master Splinter. My sons, I am sorry. No, Sensei, it's our fault. We couldn't stop him. We failed. We failed the Utrams, Master Yoshi. We failed you. I failed you. So that's it? Shredder wins? It's not like we're in any shape to stop him. Unless... You know, that's a lot of energy. In the wrong hands. It would make a pretty big bang. We'd never survive. But neither would the Shredder. We could end this. No, my sons. I could never ask you to. It's okay, Sensei. We know the score. If we don't stop the Shredder now, Millions of innocent beings throughout the galaxy will suffer at his hands. It's all right, Father. We're all agreed. Then let us finish this... together. Come on, Professor. Be okay. Be okay. Dr. Tepper, what? Professor, we need you to overload the power core. But that would cost... An explosion of great magnitude and... Oh, I see. I feared the situation was hopeless, but I understand. I am with you to the end. Here we go, then. Overload in five, four, three, two, one. No! signal, but we sense the destruction of the Evil One ship is imminent. We can delay no longer. Repair the exosuits and transmat aboard immediately. Commander, all is in order. Agreed. To the transmat now. And activate the stasis bubble immediately. Mr. Mortu, sir, collapse of the stasis bubble is imminent. It will not hold. Transmat the turtles and Master Splinter to the infirmary immediately. Send Professor Honeycutt to our main laboratories. Send this scum to the holding cells, along with their accomplice on the bridge. Yes, sir. Transmatting now. Sir, scanning the wreckage. No survivors, sir. The shredder destroyed. It's too good to be true. For once in my life, I'm, I'm speechless. Stockman, you've been very useful. This could be the start of a mutually beneficial partnership.
peace to all sentient beings. In the name of the great lawgiver, Mathis Arliss, this tribunal is now called to order. We sit in judgment over Cherell for war crimes and atrocities committed throughout the galaxy. Cherell, also known as Torinan, Kako Naso, Duke Akureds, Orofusaki, and the Shredder. Prepare to face the following charges. Let it be known that as Dolph Ett has testified, you did willingly launch an attack on the planet Enifgold. Over one million innocent inhabitants perished. And as Wanron Opo has proven, you incited and funded a civil war on Enol 2. In an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. 3.2 million perished. Finally, your crimes against the Utram homeworld include multiple attempts to take control of the government through an illegal and violent coup. We will now commune upon the verdict. In the name of the great lawgiver, this tribunal finds you, Cherell, guilty! Ouch! Cherell, you are hereby sentenced to eternal exile on the ice asteroid Morgal Tal. <sighs> you are not fit to judge me. I am the Shredder. I am invincible. I... I... No! No! May your actions haunt you forever. As for the Shredder's comrades, they shall be returned to Earth and handed over to the proper authorities. This is not what I wanted, Leonardo. This is not what I wanted! We all owe you a debt of gratitude. The Shredder has finally been brought to justice. Is it really over? No more Shredder? Yes, my sons. My Master Yoshi's spirit can finally rest in peace. The Shredder is finished.